Boy, hello. We're working on stuff. I, to yeah, we're figuring things out. Listen, there's a new table in here. We're figuring everything. It's a disaster, mostly. It's not that bad with that light above. They didn't make the table correctly. I actually think it's better with the light above. Yeah, it's much brighter in here. We've been doing it wrong for a year. At least. Because we unplugged that light about a year ago. Yeah. Why? Well, we moved. We we've, we've moved where we're sitting now. This is. That's true. We were we were very we were much farther away from the wall. Yes. Nice can't hear Dan. Dan's mic is off. Can't. What? Well, one second. Hold on. We don't have it optimized, so. Uh, it's really low. <laughs> oh, are you sore? I don't know. I thought you were muted, right? I was muted. You plug it and you can't explain your current state. What? Yeah. I didn't change mine. I only changed yours. Well, Dan was muted. That would be why. I was muted. Yep. Oh, it's so quiet. Uh, that is all the way up on the board, my guy. How about she now? Did. That's better. All right. Can't go any higher. Listen. Can you see me higher? So bit low. So what we got, dude? Did you have a volume up button? That is do, max max. Pushing that button right now would probably be the move. Uh, I mean, one sec. Am I all the way up? Yeah. Ow! Sean's going to break something. Hello. More. 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 You're at the top of the, the, the level. Again. We're not even close to yellow. More. Hello. 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 That is max. Not, st not yellow yet. Max at a 50 decibels. That's way better. Well, we're just gonna Said run. Alec. Better. Everybody says echo. There must be two inputs here. There's not. It's probably just picking up on my mic because I wasn't here, so the gate is all the way open at this point in time. That is peaking red. Yours is. Mine's not yellow. Same microphone. I'm going to turn myself down a little bit. I'd rather hear Dan than Sean switch seats. Well, Johnny Wu-Tang, that was aggressive. <laughs> what did I do to you? Oh, wow, you're so loud. Uh, yeah, and that's me down, too. You're going to want to turn down way more. All right. Because you hit reds right there. Fucking shocked again. Just change me to a different channel, see if it works. Two is broken. Throw me on four and see what happens. You were on four. You said I was on three. You were on three before, but you changed yourself to four. What? Hello. That's way better, actually. That channel's fucked up. Because that's This soundboard's a piece of shit. Sean hit plaid. Can we keep Dan muted? All right. You guys. Have, all right. You guys all right. Really How are we doing now? Tonight. You guys have been fantastic already. We appreciate you. Soundboard fund tonight, says Titus. Um, let me get this out of there. Boom. Nailed it. You did it. Sean's a real sound engineer. Adam I'm down a little bit. Okay. Yeah. No, we're good How right there. You. Adam, look what showed up, dude. Uh, Huge shout out to Adam Shelton for sending this. You want to open it? Sure. Let's do this. All right. Adam, thanks, buddy. I was just going to open your... Uh, is, let me know if I've turned myself down a little bit. I can go down more. It is purely the channel. It's super cool. Yeah. That soundboard is declining. Well, the other yeah, one too. was exploding, too. So yeah. we went to shoot the podcast the other day, and the, uh, the, the board itself would get to about 99% and then get stuck in a loop. And then even if you power cycled, it would still just get in that loop. Just so I turned it on and just pushed a bunch of buttons, and apparently that worked. Jeez, old Pete's, dude. That's some thicky. That's some good wax. You could, I, this would make Crayola jealous. Uh, that, there's not a lot that's more frustrating. Mm, yeah. It's the least satisfying yeah. thing of all time is when you don't, it doesn't go all the way. Yeah, we did it. Okay, must be good. All right. How many years y'all been doing this? Well, Doug. First week. Which at, part of this? At this table. True. Um, good news. Installed that, uh, the same bottle rinser that the... At the house? Yep. Works great. Good. All right. Um, so here's the thing. Really quick. Just a quick update for everybody. 
almost called something a certain name mm. that we aren't saying out loud yet. Yeah, I was wondering um, if you were about to do that. Almost did. I heard that slow, or that long pause. The pause. Yeah. Um, and that was your brain going, no. So replaced all the stuff on the well. Friday, she was a little fucky still. Perfect. Um, remember how I told you I didn't know if we'd have to replace the pump? The well pump? Yeah, sorry. You're good. Everything okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, My so, wife is 39 weeks pregnant, so anytime a, a message comes in from her, yeah. I won't be checking that. I just, I'd have her post it up right there on yeah, that water. Just, yep. just post it up. Open mm-hmm. chat. Um, so well pump was, uh, there it was iffy for a minute. It was kind of a touchy, touch and go. You talked to Ryan at all? No, talked to a different person. Okay. Um, and they were That's kind dark. of like... Hey, maybe I, don't hit it with a fork truck. No, no, oh. no. I don't. That's I, not what that wasn't their advice. Felt like they didn't have to say that. <laughs> um, so, what it turned into was my dad went over there and he's like, "Oh, I because I couldn't get the bladders to fill back up anymore." Yeah. My dad goes, "He's he's like, I guarantee." He goes, "I know for a fact you would have lost prime." And I go, "Oh, I just oh, assume yeah. new well pumps are." Oh self-priming. no 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 no! You have to like take the the top off and fill it with water. So come find out, there's. There, Chris thought this too. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, there's just a special screw on newer ones. Yeah. And you just fill this it's little on top random, of the casing. No, there's, dude, it, there's this one that's like almost inset sideways. Oh, really? Yeah. Most of them are like right on top of the right. pump. So, yeah. Uh, my dad went over yesterday. Yep. Got her what he believed to be fixed up. Perfect. So I went over today and ran everything for probably five cycles. Good. Beautiful. Nice. Pressure back in the RO. Both bladders fill up and empty. Perfect. And the RO actually rises. That's good. We're back in business. Now yeah. I can screw down the the railing. Yep. New bumper on the car. Fits. I know. I already posted in Discord. Fits? Oh, I thought you were going to say I already hit it with something. No. <laughs> I keyed the shit out of it, though. <laughs> I said, this guy is gear enough to back into more people or something like that. Well, listen. You parked behind me again. Dude. I did. Mind you, I don't have anywhere to go, but... Uh, open Fridays with patron supplied poor guesses. Friday, <laughs> um, people can come by the American 2 if they're around and want to, 10 to 4. I know some people are coming Friday to buy some. I will be there on Friday if you want to come over on Friday and buy one. Uh, if I don't have a baby, I might be doing some plumbing then. <laughs> on what? The... Oh, the, the, what, the rinser? Yeah. So it, it's very annoying having the production side with no Separate. RO water. Yeah. Um, realistically, what we had on there is not super usable. So I just ordered like a um, a glass rinser and a, an RO spout that we're just going to put right on the, the table. Which would be beautiful. So we can just get water and rinse our glasses while we're blending and working out there. It will be beautiful. Yeah. Because what ends up happening is we are like sampling barrels or doing something or transfers and we have a glass and then we're always constantly dumping bottle water or RO water yeah. that we have in a glass. Because I, I usually was just filling up a fifth, an empty fifth that we used. That smells really good. Um, and then just using that after like, you know, a, one or two samples of rinsing everyone's glass, I got to go it's back empty. on over, yeah. fill her back up, yeah. walk back over. Now, just fill her right up on a tap. Yeah. Can't wait. So this is from Adam Shelton, Southern Collective Spirit Company. Single barrel straight rye whiskey. This is a very cool package. Small. We don't have the other camera set up, guys. We'll get all that stuff going. But this is very cool little package. I guarantee this must be a 375, I'm assuming. It says bottle you one can... of one, I just realized on it. Look at the bottom right there. It does. That's interesting. Maybe um, someone was dyslexic and it was 10 to 10. <laughs> There's only 10 of them? 10 threes? Uh, hey, if we dump a barrel and get 10 should 375s. Pause the view Why? on the live stream. Just help the internet out. Buddy, we have lots of internet. I don't right need now. to see us. We have I can lots. see us on that screen. Do you want me to pause that one? I just did, as you would say. <clears throat> Happy 2024. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. But anyways, uh, this is just says Better Rio. You can't see it, but it's written right there. <laughs> it literally does. says Better Rio. Yeah, we um, we don't have, uh, because this table is so much larger, and we've got the computer kind of buried underneath, we need to get some longer HDMI cords so we can get the camera set up over there. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll next week. It's going to we'll be a three-angle of- live stream eventually. Three angle? Yeah, I don't know. We got four inputs. We just go down. Dude, that's a good straight one. over us. We get a ham cam. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he sent us this. He's it says better real, but it's not. Adam, tell us about it. It's not honey finished. It's definitely smells like a rye, and it doesn't smell amberana y. Adam also hates he shares your hatred for amberana. Yeah. So when he puts better real, it's probably in regards to the fact that it's not amberana at all. He's correct. 
I want to guess what state six of my seven top rise aged in. I'd guess Maryland for Joe. Um, for 1, New Mexico. It might be a good. Georgia seems like a good climate. <laughs> New Mexico seems. It's honey finished that sat near an Amarada barrel in the warehouse. This is okay. I told Sean that you did tell earlier. Me that. Yeah. You said, I believe this to be the bottle that you said was Next near an Amarada barrel. So it's influenced by it. Doesn't smell like Amarada at all, Adam. Get on your it does bed. not. Just get on your bed. Oh, that no. was a, that was a sassy meow. You just got a sassy. Don't one. do it. Just get up on your perch. He's eyeing you. I love this as a three seven five. It's beautiful. It's such a cool little. Man. It's almost like a pocket flask like shape. Oh, there he is. Everyone say hi to Cookie. Mm. This is a big boy. It smells really good. That's a honey finished rye. Whew. We did the wrong thing, my friend. People, what they want. We did the wrong thing. This is a five year MGP rye. I tried. I tried to make something. Man. Are we getting another podcast soon? Friday, there was one. Okay, then get on. We shot a couple Thursdays today. Yep. Sean's about to tomorrow? plunge into parenthood. So, if you thought the podcast were intermittent before, what? I, you know what we can do? We can just, <laughs> I'll be at my house. Sure. You'll be at your house. Yeah, we can record doable. it on OBS. Sure. And then just. Or you could nap. Yeah. 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 That'll be the move. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that'll be the move. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Man, if only someone told you a honey rye was a good idea. Whoa. We're not putting blame on me. Sean was allowed to do whatever he wanted. Now, unfortunately, two of those barrels sucked. Yeah. But I wasn't anti any idea. Um. Joe Sullivan, I do love the state of New Mexico. That's weird. I'm very indifferent. Can't wait to get back out there, but that's a story for a different space. Yep. So who do you murder sure. in the desert of New Mexico? Yeah, I'm very indifferent on the whole state of New Mexico. Yeah. Um, thanks for the super chat, though, buddy. Don Thompson, thank you for the $10 super chat. Hey, BJs, congrats. Just noticed the new table. This table took 11 or 12 weeks. It's about 11. Is the wrong shape. I drew them a picture. They took the picture with them. It had measurements on it. It was supposed to be six foot by three foot. It's a five by five square. It's super close. But it's sign- it is bigger than the table we had. Much bigger. Which was part of the goal. But yeah, all the room for activities. There's now. two barrels under this table. Yeah. The last one could barely fit one under it. So and our legs. Um, 2023 LE versus Russell single Rick house camp. Nelson F that new Russell is very good. It I is. Think it's I haven't gonna... had the, the, no. uh, sorry, the four roses LE, nope, same. but they're good every year. Realistically. I've never had one. I actually just didn't like, yeah, I've never had one. I would be like, I wouldn't pay 200 for that. Never have I ever. Yeah. Um, I think we had the last two, maybe three years. I think so. And they're all fantastic. They're all really good. Every year, they're really good. I think I opened one the other day and drank it. I was like, damn, I forgot how good that is. Yeah, it's one of the most consistently well-done LEs, I think. <clears throat> and weirdly, probably one of the bigger releases. I feel like the honey is like very Muted. minimal on this. Yeah, it's small. It's not not heavy. I like that but heavy honey. There's, there's char in here, and it yeah. doesn't look... Like, oh, yeah, there's definitely char. Yeah, there. but it, this looks like it was pulled out of a barrel, like the sample. This looks like a barrel sample. Mm-hmm. But Adam said you can go to Southern, um, southern I want to say Southern Comfort fill your own. every time. Yes, and fill your own. Oh, that's cool. I need to figure out the legalities on that because I love that idea. RD1 does it. Yeah. Whiskey Thieves does it. Um, Bardstown does it. Bards, well, kind Nick of. Nick does it. I, theirs is very different, though. Mm, you're, you're, We're closer to the size of these people, probably. Oh yeah, I mean, but everyone's doing. You're doing a bottle of your own on a single barrel. I know, but like it, this, probably this looks like it probably is a thief fill your own. Yeah, and whiskey thieves is a thief fill your own. Yeah, already one was I think as well because the barrels. Yeah, there. it was. Mictors is like a pull the plunger, dude. Yeah, that was he came from Lord knows where. They got that like ten thousand dollar Vendome filler. So cool. Yeah, baller. This is a more. Um, Intimate. Obtainable? Intimate. Oh. Well, for us, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, definitely done by Thief. Yeah, you can smell it. NBC does pull your own. Maybe you could just do it. Are you just allowed to do that and sell it? Why not? I've asked that, buddy. There's, I can't tell you how many times I've said, why not? It's a single barrel. Like, why not? We got a single barrel label. Why not 
just sell direct to consumer. What's know. the batch? Distillery one. <laughs> DST that's one. Why, that's why it's bottle one of one. Yeah. That makes sense. This smells fantastic, though. I This is the amount of honey that I'm in love with. Almost none. Mm, I could go for a little bit more. This is, it's offset. It's sweet. It's very yeah. sweet rye. It is. Usually, it's almost a little minty, though. Usually five-year rye is not sweet. Um, I don't even screw up shit as bad as they did on that table size, said Chris. Chris, I'm convinced that you are a perfectionist. Yeah. Because that wall we know looks that. incredible. Uh, I mean, blue glass for how many years? Mm-hmm. You've got to be very technical on that. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, Hop Haze, obviously not an Amish built table. Sounds like Dan cut corners literally and figuratively per usual. I don't shit, dude. If yeah. you think I made this table, you would be shocked. This table's almost 150, 175 pounds. Oh, it's heavy. If you yeah. think I made this table, this table will outlast Sean and I. And it's wood, it's not even metal. I didn't cut shit. I did think about cutting off this corner. So we had closer to the shape that was actually laid out. I didn't do it. Yeah, we were, well, it's a little steeper than what we were going to do. Yeah, we, we were going to, I mean, this is a hard 90, but I don't hate it, honestly. I don't hate it. Um, we just wanted to have it a little bit easier to, like, when we're talking to each other, mm-hmm. look at that. And it's like a quartered angle for everyone involved. Yep. So it works out. It is a lot nicer to have some room on here. This table is going to constantly be full. Yep. Once it's set up, it'll be great. Yeah. Then once the, we're going to have two monitors instead of one. That'll be fantastic. And then we're going to have, at the, we'll get the camera angle set. This is going to be a great spot. It's going to be great. Yeah. It's, it's going to be, be great. It's, it's just going to be great. We need Matt for his freaking Trump impression right now. It's going to be the, the best. best. Fun for a cool pour your own virtue spirit lever, says Rob Worsner with a $5 super chat. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I asked Appreciate Ron that. at Bardstown, and I said, those are super cool. How much are, oh. are they? And he looked at me and goes, <laughs> Buddy, you don't want one. Tens of thousands. I'm gonna guess it's, it, it's several thousands. I bet more than that. Yeah, I bet it's everything about a fork truck. is expensive. Yeah, I bet it's about four trucks. Seven grand? Oh no, I think it's more than that. Oh, trucks. more. It's you know what? But it doesn't break as fast. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I will. I will assume there's several thousand dollars. Oh man. Um. Did you get it free? No. No. I sat there when they brought it out. I said that is not the drawing that I submitted. Guy goes, what drawing? Literally, that's what he said. <laughs> and I already, I already paid, which was even better. Um, they did take time off because it took less time than they thought it would. No shit. It's a square table. Come to find out, it was 12 weeks. They told me three when I dropped the wood off. So this was supplied wood from literally, Sean got all these slabs of wood from his brother. These monster I slabs. I mean, that's realistically what that table yeah. was, uh, this table. Yeah. I made a bunch of shelving out of it. Yeah. The, we have shelves on the Monday there. set are made out of it. The yep. tree's done good work for us. Yep, the tree has. Yeah. Cross and Lincoln. Not so much. Dropped a ball. They did work. It dried somebody. Listen, this is a nice table. It is a nice table. It's just not the it's table. It's just not the table I'm we assuming wanted. we have somebody else's table with our, our wood. wood. Yeah. I'm assuming is what happened. Yeah. Somebody else has some random table oh, with dude. shitty wood. They just fucking show up and they're like, yeah. what the fuck? This yeah. is not what I drew out. And they'd be like, what drawing? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Why is that a weird shape nobody would ever do intentionally? This is just a nice white oak. American just, grown. Derek, you're, you're, you're already here, dude. All we did was open the Southern Collective Southern um, Comfort. from Adam Shelton. And it's pretty damn good. Adam Quigley it's with the good. 10 gifted. Thank you, thank you, buddy. If you guys get a, uh, a little membership, say thank you in the chat. Thank you, buddy. Here's Garrett. Hey. Kooky cats, dude. Quite the name. Oh, oh. Brandon Sprague got one. Aiden. 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 Oh. oh, my God. Kyle Ramage, dude. Jeez. Where are these people? Guys, what's going on? <laughs> Talked to Kyle about coffee a little bit the other day. Gosh. He's watching someone make water for coffee. Really? They're building water. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I bet their coffee tastes fantastic. Said, that seems intense. And he goes, yeah. He goes, got a buddy who wrote a whole paper about it. Of course he that did. Tracks it. There is yeah. a rabbit he hole. He was like a chemistry teacher. Okay. There's a rabbit hole there. Very in depth. Sure. Yeah. There's a rabbit hole to go down. Uh, yeah, Chris, it is. That's the Alice in Wonderland rabbit hole, though. Well, that's not a normal one. No. Well, I mean, like, whiskey, watches, cars, coffee. All these things are cigars. All these Man. things are rabbit holes. That, like, that's why they have... I truly believe in order for it to have, like, a fan base like that, it has to be a rabbit hole to it. 
Oh yeah. It has to be like a, a, a level where you can you're, be a cult you can following. Be an enthusiast or you can be a crazy person or you yeah. can literally be so far into the basement mm-hmm. of the hobby you've never seen another person. <laughs> like And Aiden, that's Kyle. <laughs> Aiden said, I'm in your walls, Sean. No, thank you. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. Appreciate that. So listen, um, tonight we have some stuff going on. Luke, if you could find this for me and post a link, that would be beautiful, buddy. I meant to text you this beforehand. But um Actually, if you want to know what happened, Cooper, while we were sitting in the living room tonight, we were eating dinner in the living room because Ricky had scrubbed all our um, dining room chairs. Nice. So they're clean. Yeah. So they're wet. Yeah. So we're sitting in the living room eating. Cooper walks by and just shits in a line on our floor in front of us. In front. Swear to God. He's 13 or 14. Solid or liquid? No, talking? just a very normal... Just a normal one. Was he walking while going? He so it's just a Cooper's string? A walker. Just a He's w- a walker. You, you, Mirror's you, a pile dog. Was there a, a word uttered while it was happening or just? Ricky goes, did he just shit? <laughs> and I went, no. We looked over and there was. He did, in, he did in fact. Now, I had to clean that up. Ricky came out here and poured these. Yeah. And I was like, please go pour those. I'll clean this up. Yeah. Chaos in my house. He's 14. I didn't even, he didn't even get in trouble. He can't hear and he can't see. Oh, he's deaf and blind. He yeah. does have, he doesn't go to the bathroom in the house. It's not like he's so He thought old. he was outside. He might <laughs> actually, he's like, hmm, that's weird. This rug doesn't smell like shit anymore. <laughs> Let me drop some. Ricky just scrubbed. Oh, he's on the rug? Every, no, it was right next to it, though, okay. which is interesting. But hardwood, though. If the rug, shit right next to it. Yeah. Weird. At least it was hardwood. Yeah. 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 I said the same thing to Ricky. Still whiskey. $10 super chat. Thank you. Third super chat. On the channel. Thank you, Appreciate buddy. It. Utah Drop Four Roses LE. I'm assuming UT means Utah. I would assume, Utah yeah. Drop Four Roses LE and Michter's 10-year rye and seller age. Got them all and excited to review them soon. Holy and shit. And they're a control state, so it's probably all of state minimum. Is Utah a control state? Yeah. I thought they were just Mormons. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure that's why they're control. Because they're Mormons. Yeah. Wow. The, well, like, think of the, the people that come in and audit... Um, High West, and like how much whiskey they're pouring out and shit. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I guess that's the government. Yeah. I was going to say, I thought that was the Mormons. It's not. That's why. He wild. said all MSRP. So, yeah. That's incredible. Good for you, buddy. That's an insane pickup. That's a hell of a day. Ginger, no, he didn't lose control of his bowels. He made that decision, buddy. <laughs> he did. He made the decision. Promise. Ricky said, night, night, Dada. So she's putting the kids to bed. They're probably listening to this. Yeah, that's where good. is your new shirt? I don't swear in front of those kids, and I just swore a lot. What? Where is your new shirt? New shirt. Yeah. Did it not come? Dustin get, got you a new shirt? He did. Oh. It has not come Not yet. here yet, Kelly. I don't know about this shirt. Uh, you'll know about it. Great. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Is it the forklift one? Mm-hmm. Oh, no way. I'll wear it <laughs> everywhere. I saw that. I didn't know that anybody ordered it. That's incredible. We were talking about it, and Dustin said, might already ordered it. That's incredible. Yeah. It says, fork truck certified. That's Yeah, and it's got a big fork <laughs> big truck on fork it. Big fork truck That's on a cool it. shirt. It's a very cool shirt. Um, I'm going to become fork truck certified. I'm going to be honest. I still would have backed into that. We're not paying for that. It's fine. It's free. Where? All you got to do is like take them beers. Who? The teacher. Where? The teacher's fork truck certified. All okay. they do is drink beer and slam. You find it. a teacher? I'll find one. Yeah. You got to pay for those classes. Can't be hard to find. It is easy to find beer. It says it was delivered today. I wonder if it's in the mailbox. It's not on the front porch because that's where I got my bumper, and that's on my car now. Yeah, we we got that on there. I put some clips on. Dan bolted it on. I'll say we. I mean, I helped. Sean him. did help put the insert on, which yeah. didn't feel. And honestly, oh, it looks perfectly fine. It yeah. must. The other one probably fit the same way. Yeah, but it was broke, taut, and I didn't care. Yeah, so it just was like whatever. I mean, my dad's car helped you remove that bumper. <laughs> No, it didn't help me remove it. It helped me crack it. Oh. And then I had to remove it. Ew. Chris Hell, welcome <laughs> to the BJ fam. Thanks for the membership. Thank you, buddy. Um, okay. Is it a, is it a You Betcha shirt? No yeah, that way. makes is sense. It really? yeah, that makes that, perfect sense, yeah. actually. I love those guys. Night to my little babes if they're watching. Um, okay, so here's what we're doing. All right, Chrissy. You know what? Nobody, nobody needed that. What we're going to do tonight, we have a couple things on the agenda. Go ahead. I had a little mini burp there. So it looked like a little mini stroke there. I feel the same. 
<laughs> so um, what happens tonight is we're going to talk about this new pairing from the Uncut series, which is my current favorite series. I love these. I love getting them in the mail, and Alec I love Bradley. pairing them. From Alec Bradley Cigars, it's pinned at the top. You go to bourbonoutfitter.com slash products. Up at the top, just click it because it's more than that, but that's what you can see at the top. And what you're going to get if you order that is this, which we're going to open and drink tonight. It's a Starlight bourbon whiskey finished in VDN barrels. It's 112 proof, and it's five and a half years old. And it also comes paired with Gatekeeper Coronas, I believe, is what size this looks like. Four of them. So you Petite get Corona. this bottle, and you get these cigars, and supposedly they're paired really well together. Every Usually are. one of these has been paired incredibly well and have been a really cool experience. So I am excited. I haven't tried these yet. We're going to try them after we do the rye, uh, rye whiskey of the year, which is the other thing we're going to do tonight. We've got eight ryes in front of us. We're going to pick our favorite rye that was released this year. We did not include any of our whiskey. That doesn't feel like I, I, it doesn't matter what happens. Immediately, it's going to be considered bias. Yeah. It could come in last. Everybody be like, yeah, you guys are awful. And we can come in first and be like, oh, of course it came in. Like, this is no matter. It's a lose-lose. Mm -hmm. In Rye 1, I we do like believe. We like win-wins. I do believe Rye 1 would have actually done really well in this lineup. Truly. Unbiased. You know? But it's not in here. Oh, it's a 42 ring gauge. I thought that, uh, that's not what I thought it was. I think that's just a Corona. Uh, Luke just said, uh, for Alec Bradley, Gatekeeper Corona, 5 oh, by 1.25 by 42. That. That's my favorite size right there. That's my favorite size Gatekeeper. So I'm happy that those are together. So yeah, today you can buy these. It just launched today. Like I said, Starlight Bourbon and VDN and the Alec Bradley Gatekeepers. Click the link at the top. Alec Bradley is sponsoring tonight's live stream. So thank you, as always, for working with the channel. Mostly Bradley. The hell out of you guys. I, I speak only for myself. <laughs> thank you to Alec and Bradley. Oh, all right. And huge shout out STG. You yeah, know what I mean? That's fair. Big fan of Alan myself. You know, whatever. It's just a family thing. Now, at this point, though, Sean and Alec are feuding. No, Alec's feuding with me. There's over a, a bottle of Carter Cellars. So, <laughs> Haven't opened it yet. Assume it's delicious. <laughs> Rye One made Cam's top five. I didn't I'll, know that. You know what? I'll bottle you up a sample and I'll send it to you in the mail. Wine's good in the mail, right? That's, that's <laughs> so aggressive. That's, <laughs> dude, that's so much worse. That's so much worse. Bobby Holmes. Oh, that's bad. I recently got gifted Woodford Reserve Rye, and for being a non-rye guy, I really like the bottle. It makes really good old fashions as well. Do you have any recommendations for rye similar, similar to that? I don't know the last time I've had Woodford, Woodford Rye. Woodford Reserve Rye. I mean, let's it's Kentucky. Do a, let's Kentucky just do rye. an easy pivot. Easy pivot. Old Forester Rye. Or Jack Jack bonded. Daniels. Yeah. <laughs> Jack bonded. bonded Rye. I just stick in the Brown Foreman family and just go to one of their ryes because they're Probably, a, I bet that Jack Bonded Rye is the same price as Woodford Rye. Yeah. And I bet that Jack Bonded Rye is better, would be my guess. I bet Woodford Rye is a little waxy or something. It reminds me of Nob Creek Rye in my brain for some Why? reason. Why? I don't know. I do think that, though. It's two different companies. I know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm aware. Um, nah, nah. Listen, we also have more news. Guess what? Smoke Wagon Single Barrel Picks, the red labels are back, yeah. 2024. They just told me that. More news. There's breaking news every week on this live stream. Breaking news. Breaking whiskey news every Breaking news. Wild Turkey 101 bourbon picks. Yeah. This week's Smoke Wagon Red Label Single Barrel MGP picks again. Those. Ryan here. He's Wild Turkey pick. Dude, me and Ryan have been Wild Turkey, Wild Turkey, Wild Turkey. All day today. So annoying. You know when you call somebody? He calls me. I'm in the middle of a call. Always. So I hit like the, I'll call you back. Yeah. I hit it. He gets it. Put the phone down, whatever. Call him back. Three hours, he you remember? He sends me to voicemail. Perfect. I like that energy. He goes, sorry, I'll call you back. Cool. Calls me back. You and me are shooting. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's, a, it's an infinite loop at this point. Hey, I can't. That's an off-topic question. Did you ever review the Red Cedar Outlander? No. We haven't reviewed it. I've drank it. Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, Cameron picked your rye for fifth best whiskey of the 2024. Is that real? Holy shit. I knew we'd spend that money well. <clears throat> bribes. Oh, Cam? Yeah. I never sent the check. Oh. Yeah. It's just honest. I thought you cut that. No, I did tell him I'd kiss him. Oh. I didn't think it was worth that. That's much. why it's fifth and not third. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done it. Um, Mash and Drum put Rye 2 fifth or sixth on his. Oh, nice. Rye 2. And I truly stand by the fact that that's our worst Rye thus far. Yeah, Rye 1 and Rye 3 are better. Rye 1 is a 
different animal. Yeah. Rye three is Finnish, basically. Somehow. It feels that way. Feels that. Feels it. Tastes. We it. had other people also say it feels that way. We both literally bottled guess Malbec Monster. Um, Advent. You know, when we had the Malbec Monster today, I went. Nah. Sure. Well, okay. I, I'll reel that in a little. You guessed a High West Double Rye pick. Yeah. So either way, a mm. finished. I wouldn't have necessarily guessed Malbec finished based on the drink. I would have just guessed wine finished. I'm like, oh. Yeah. It just, High like, West does a lot of finished yeah. stuff. What is the best bottle to get to rye? Old Forest to rye. Yeah, we were talking. We literally, Sean and I were talking about this today. You know what? Mixer's 10 rye. <clears throat> if you can swing it, and you can find <laughs> it. Yeah. And it's not really that close. Yeah. If, but realistically, Old Forester Jack Daniels, bonded rye. Are our two favorites. For values. Yeah. Are you talking value? Maybe Emerald Giant's up there somewhere. Fifth. Mm, especially the. From a value. I know. I just was having flashbacks of the cast rings. Oh, the cast rings. Oof. Probably not to get into, but. Dustin gifted 10 memberships. Thank you, bro. Uh, yeah, there's still a. Is there still a discount? 5% discount? You, always use code BJ. BJ? Yeah. Always. Forever and always use code BJ at Bourbon Outfitter. I get you 5% off no matter what. Doesn't have to be our stuff. Just on the website gets you 5%. Help you with shipping for free. Where are you Chris going? Chris Hall. Thank you for joining, buddy. Welcome to the fam, man. I Welcome. I didn't want to miss it. I, said I already it. said that. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I even said thank you for the membership. All right. Dude, look at... That's a lot of names right there that we know. Yeah. Just got memberships. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks buddy. Appreciate that. You should walk through Everyone, the streets naked. Everyone, say thank naked. you. Like Game of Thrones. Why? What's her name? Shame. That's not her name, but I, yeah. yeah, that's what they said. Yeah. That's There's a the queen. Yeah. That's, a that's really an aggressive punishment. Yeah. That's not a good one. No. Um, I truly think that um probably Michter's toasted barrel proof rye oh. would have been I mean, it would have been a top three if mm-hmm. it had, yeah, we had just don't won this get year. it. Um, Lasher. What's up, buddy? So cheers, boys. Cannot wait to try the rye one. Happy New Year's. Yeah, hell yeah, buddy. Hell yeah. yeah. Do you yeah, have buddy. did it has it arrived? I'm I'm a hoping it's there. I'm hoping so. It's been delivered to your with your hands with my hands. The hand thing, the handoff. I'm hoping a handoff has been made. Um, I do that without a reason. Says Womb Stretcher. Damn, does that fit your name? Both member for 37 months. Nick rated whistle pig. His whistle pig pick over Rye Batch One. <laughs> his whistle pig picks a bourbon. Both, you're an idiot. It's not the same at all. That's that one sitting over there, it's isn't the it? the bottom wax one. Yeah. And it's honestly, it's pretty shockingly it, good. Yeah, because we gave him a rye one that was bottom wax like that. Is that the reason? I think so. I never put... Somebody, both text Nick and ask him if that's the reason. I would assume that's why he gave it I was his back one. Like, Nick. Oh, that's true. And you know. we dunked his like that, like way down the neck. And then I also did the bottom. Mm-hmm, I remember. Yeah. You remember? I remember. Yeah, and I said, oh, that's Nicky Boy's bottle. Can I tell you what I would like to do one time since he's definitely not in here? Wash your dick? Whoa. No. <laughs> no. What? No. 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 A little. So listen, <laughs> if you, I would think that we would take a whole bottle. Okay. Encase it in wax? Only up to the cork almost. How would you know what it is? <laughs> you wouldn't. And you really, you can't see it either. So it's a real trust the process. You know what I mean? And then you just leave the top completely normal. We'll tamp it. We'll it might have been a little aggressive. I don't know what you want from the It was so <laughs> aggressive, guys. Um, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, Nick did a whistle pig pick. I know, both, and it's a bourbon. Uh, that we stands 14-1. I have it. What? He just put I it there. I bought that today. He said he's not even, not even going to open it. I bought that today. I saw it. It's first 14 I've seen, and it was retail, which was like 220. I, I want that 14.3 that I showed you yeah, in cool. that, like, rose-colored. Rose yeah. That's cool. That was sick. I wonder what the – I think they're all just, like, different um, finishes or whatever. That one doesn't – it just says it was in a bourbon barrel. It doesn't say anything else. Really? Yeah. So I don't know if it's, like, not – maybe it's not a good one. I don't know. I think – okay. Virtue for Gen Pop. They're all good. If you come to the – if you come to HQ, um, we'll keep releases there. So right now, American 2 is there. If you can't come to H2, HQ, H2, if you can't come to HQ, eventually we'll get, eventually when we have like the volume, then we'll like push out into Michigan. And then after we push out into Michigan, you know what I mean? It's going to be one of those things. 14.3 is sitting around 350 locally. Oh, that's rough, dude. 
Three fifty is a commitment. You know, I don't want it that much. Yeah, it's because they're usually like five and six years old. <clears throat> maybe three. Maybe that one's old, dude. There she is. It's so cool. It's like a freaking. You missile. know why didn't we think of this when we were talking about Gem in Kentucky? What black bottle? Mm, Octomore. Yeah. No, we didn't, did we? Because there's usually like a little. A, oh, this one doesn't have it. Normally, there's like a seam you can at least kind of see where your level's at. Oh yeah, right there. Okay. There's your seam. Yeah, but I, I can't see through it. I don't feel. Where is she? See if you can buy it from Brooklady directly online. Can be about forty percent cheaper, said Titus. That's interesting. What? <clears throat> a quail got it fourteen one for one forty duty free in Iceland. I think I got that for retail. I think the retail's around two twenty. The when store. we go into Iceland, baby. Right? Goodness gracious. If you buy enough of those, you could play for your plane ticket. Oh, Blackhearts. What? I bought one in my life. And uh, that only gets brought out for special. And things. you probably won't buy another. Well, they went up in price. It's $600. Ah, I paid $550 or something like that because it was the like not 16 year one. I think mine is only 14. But, you know, whatever. I know. Peasant. Um, no, isn't it 20? What? 24 years old. Something like that. It's not a teen. It's a 20. Maybe mine is, I don't remember what I have. It went from 24 or 25 to 26. Yeah. Yours is in the 20s. Could Yours be. Yours is really old. Not me. Um, what did CJ say? I just pull it out from time to time. Look at it. Love it. What did, what did CJ the say? The Texas Whiskey Crew whistle, whistle pig picks a rye. You just... No, Dan said says, it's definitely a bourbon. Ours says bourbon. It says it says straight bourbon on it. Weird. That's weird that you guys got a different one than we did. Uh, 13th century. 13th century. 13th century rye reserve delicious. I think. Wait, is that called 13th century? Yeah. American straight rye whiskey. Holy fuck, it's happening. Did you, did he, did, did, wait, hold on. We just Todd, got, did you send us this? This got picked up today. We picked this up today. Yeah. Uh, Adam, so, thank you for sending this. It's really good, buddy. Beautiful bottle. I wish we had the cam because there is a little, um, there's like a something, spout. yeah, there's something in the middle of the glass. So there's like, I can get my, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Um, uh, it's American. Says, yes, I sent it. That makes way more sense. Okay. Uh, we need to write his name on there. He said still. Uh, American straight rye whiskey, barrel strength, 70.9%. Batch number five, bottle number 132, barreled in rare 30-gallon cask. That's going to hurt. Uh, let's, yeah. Let's just try a nip of that, and then we'll get into the flight. It says distilled in Indiana. This maybe is a 95.5. Oh, it's distilled in Indiana? Matured and bottled by 13th Century Whiskey in Colorado Springs. So, yeah, I bet you this is just um, Hazmat MGP. Buddy, I don't know if I've ever had Hazmat MGP rye before. Me either. You know what? We got extra glasses over here. So um, I don't... This one was rye, too. Our Inster. Yeah, but it was a honey rye. Not, not really, though, huh? Yeah. It's just, I yeah. mean, it was a sweet rye. We know what honey barrels do now. Is the thing. Leak. That's what the fucking... They leak. We're going to make a bottle steamer or barrel steamer. Jonathan, we have Scarlet Shade in this lineup somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. It, we liked it when we opened it. And this is like not as easy as ours to get open. The tamp seal doesn't really... Oh, she's tamped. Oh, that tamp is sealed. like... Holy moly. That's some thick PVC. Oh my Look gosh, dude. Ours is cheaper than shit. Theirs, I bet, was not as cheap as ours. Well, I think they're all pretty cheap because yeah. they're this much plastic. Uh, holy moly. Dirty gal. Holy. Okay. It's almost like red, it's too. Cool. It's cool. Look, I like the bottle. That glass, I would imagine, costs about a fortune. I really don't want all that. Yeah. yeah you're trying to take some. Trying to get home if you need to at some point. Walking. Yeah. <laughs> Running. Oh, you just. There you go. Just the tip comes out. Paul, thanks for sending this, buddy. Is it? Didn't we think this came from the distillery? I didn't remember where it came from. I was gonna look through the emails. Oh, I thought I just checked the box. It came in. It's their box. It came in a 13th century box. Inside out. Yeah, but it's still their box. Oh, 
Oh. Did it say Paul on it? I swear to God, it says Paul on it. I didn't check. <laughs> I always check if I don't know it's from the distillery. Yeah, that's fair. But if it's from the distillery, it's oh, just kind of like... Oh, dude, that smells amazing. That doesn't smell like a rye at all. Whoa. I wonder how old this is. I don't know, but I don't know about the 70% part. Oh, my god. Because it's not kicking your nose in? It, oh, no, it kind of is. Barrel and 30-gallon casks. Distilled from American grain barrel strength. Yeah. Go figure. Holy shit, that's hot. Which, man. How do you get... How do you get MGP Rye to be that high strength? You should drink it. Oh, it's, that is I mean, delicious, it's, but it's gonna mother hurt. of God, is that warm. Okay. Dan just texted you the pick of the bottle that Nick just texted me of his whistle pick pick. I don't know what to tell you, both. I'm just telling you, ours says bourbon on it, dude. Paul, it's, it's from, from Distillery. Dist- I'm owner. Paul, we've put a lot together. In the this, last, like, four minutes. On this stream tonight, we've put a lot together, buddy. How how do you how do people get this? I've been in a K hole answering emails, so that's probably what happened. Uh, my bad. A lot of people have gotten some very old email follow ups over the last like two months of me just being like, I'm really sorry. Um, we've been hellaciously busy. I usually get up every morning and do emails, dude. The problem is, truly, I usually get up, so make, do I. make coffee, do emails. That's what I do every morning. I know almost. we do emails at the same time because the it'll is, jump down at like three or four at a time. Yeah, and I'm like, I only did one. Yeah. <laughs> The um the problem is, if the inbox is left alone for two days. Oh yeah, it's there's an issue. There's forty-seven to fifty, eight 80. more emails in there. There could like, be eighty, just, depending. It's just like it, if like especially if we did something that we said, hey, shoot us an email. Paul, what's in nightmare. the middle of this bottle? Yeah, what is that? It oh, is that a still? It's a oh still. shit, it is. We're I get it now. Holy shit. Yeah, I think you're right. It's definitely a column still. Yep. Colorado and Nebraska for now is where this is at. That is warm. How'd you get cast strength MGP to be 70%? I'm so intrigued by this. Age in Colorado. Oh, I look at There's even like a little manway thing right oh, there. Oh, there is. That is a cool ass bottle. Send this to Chris. He'll tell him how they made it. National in 2024. Good news. That tastes good. 2024. Oh, it's not hot on your tongue. Wait about yeah. 10 oh, seconds. No, well, five it. seconds. And you're like, oh, there she is. Holy moly. Hey, he said whiskey still. Dude, that is a beautiful bottle. That I, is truly, um, that tastes very good. Yeah. It's very sweet rye. Wow. I didn't even, like, we were opening stuff and then had to uh, catch up on some content. And I didn't even look at the label. I didn't realize it was hazmat until I grabbed that bottle just now. I didn't either. When we opened it, I didn't realize. I, I when we opened it, I we all we did was look at the label. Gallons. We looked at the label, saw thirty gallons, and then we started looking at the the cool glass, and we're like, ooh. The thirty gallon explains the color of the whiskey. Aged in thirty gallon bar- barrels in Colorado, seven years. That's very. I, the color makes perfect sense with yeah. the thirty gallon barrels. It's beautiful. Um, that proof is a monster. It's very good. We might have to do a review. Oh, how on much that. is that? Yeah, I was gonna say what what's the price on this? This is cool that you're in chat. Thank you for being here while yeah, we're buddy. doing this because it's helpful because we can ask you questions. High altitude could be a fact of Asian. Um, air's thinner. We need to build a straight boiling, up barrel house. Boiling points are lower, so uh, if it's warmer, you you move your azeotrope down. Of course, the azeotrope's always so high. Yeah. We want it lower. Yeah. The barrels are char two and five blended. Char five. Damn. Okay. So we, we just. 30 gallon char five. That's got to be char fucking five. wicked. What, what 1910 barrels are? Yeah, that's alligator char, char basically. Five's like, I think 1910 they say is alligator char, which is like just char beyond five. char five. Okay. No, there's no char five normally. Yeah. No one uses char five. Really. I, no, I talked to ISC. That's not even a thing. Oh. They dude, were like. 89.99 ain't bad. That's a good deal. Yeah. That's a great bottle. At at ninety, that's a good bottle. Yeah, and it's cool. Seven year, dude. That has Matt Rye. Where'd you have with a? I don't have a flashlight on this me. This with a backlight. Oh, look at you carrying a flashlight. No way is she dead. Oh no, she's not. You gotta charge it every now and then. 
Oh, dude. There you go. That'll help. Turn it up. Turn it up. Oh, there yeah. you go. Can you they see can it? kind of see in oh, there. We need that camera set. Yeah, we do. I didn't expect to show off bottles. Oh, look at it. You can see the the uh, striations and the glass going down. That is so cool. There this is goes. a cool bar piece. 100%. That's worth it. This is worth a buy. Paul, thanks for sending this, dude. We could have put this in the video we shot today. We could have. We did like a brands your brands to look out for in 2024 video. You know what? Should have probably opened this. <laughs> and then she... I didn't realize it was a rye, or I would have opened it at least for this. Apparently, Char 4 is Alley. Here. Char 4 is Alley? Yeah. I, I could see that. <sighs> Paul, thank you again, buddy, for real. That's good. That is very sweet. It's insanely rich up front. It is warm in this um, section of my life. But... When is a, uh, it's um, 13th century. When is the national? It smells so um, good. Brand launch. Is this a low? You think this is the low rye one? He said 2024 was national. Do you I think know, but it's maybe low? a month, quarter, something like that. Low rye? Yeah. You got 52? Well, he said seven, though. Age could be the... It's very sweet. You think the 52? It's bourbony. Right? Yeah. yeah. Could be. It's very bourbony. It is very bourbony. And I think that char five or whatever in the barrel, like how uh, vanilla strong that is, I think kind of overpowers some of that uh, rye spice. I get a lot of rye in the uh, finish and then a lot of proof. It is 70.9% so alcohol. Damn. Um, 141.8. Paul, fun, you have right? a single barrel program? <laughs> do you want to do barrel picks? <laughs> um, that's very cool. He said we haven't him, started yet, Dallas. He said it took him three years. We're just warming up with a couple of ryes, actually. Mm -hmm. This is one of them. We had a Southern Collective, Better Rio rye, which is very good. Um... And then we're drinking this 13th century uh, barreled and rare 30 gallon. I am going to be honest, Paul, truly, my expectations were not the same when I read 30 gallon cask. Uh, it's yeah. very good. They're so hit and miss. I feel like the normally issue. they're miss. Um, not all our the, drift lists were good. There's our exceptions. drift lists were good, and those are 30 True, gallon casks. exceptions to every rule. Often. Yeah. We tried a lot of drift lists that day. Yeah. For a good reason. Yeah, there's a lot, buddy. There's that's a that's a book. And that just goes and it just slowly Swole. takes that elevator on down. Seventy point nine ABV. Let so me just ask the chat. Oh, in two months it's going national. Paul does go. picks, and you can go to DC without a distributor, so the distribution doesn't matter. Paul, will you email us? We can just talk about that. That'd be cool. That'd be great. That's no. very cool, man. Maybe in about uh, June. <laughs> Yeah. Go to Colorado. Oh. What's that? Colorado's a nightmare, huh? To get to. Yeah. Everywhere is right now. You it wanna... feels like flying anywhere is a nightmare right Can now. I tell you something? Yeah. Go Ship ahead. a box to Matt. Yeah. Mr. Porter. Yeah. Just all I had in it was glass. Just a glass. Yep. Good bag. A couple pounds. $27. UPS. Ground. You overnight it? Ground. What are we doing? Well, I know why. It's so hard to get to Rifle, Colorado. Sorry if I blew up Matt's spot. My bad. Good luck finding them. You know, eleven thousand barrels now, all thirty gallons. Holy. That is a lot of fucking barrels, buddy. Mm. Excuse me. Do you what? even if you cut that in half and said they're all fifty? All right, cool. Five thousand five hundred oh, barrels. What? Why? It's a fuck ton. Paul, I got two questions. Why do you have that many? And how long have you been buying them? Yeah, you're right. We're that. just interviewing Paul from chat now. Blind Barrels champion, too. Paul, that's that. incredible. Put, put some respect on it. What did you say? Huh? What did you just say? What? What did you say out loud? Blind Barrels champion? Also? Sean's about to be the solo live stream <laughs> champion. <laughs> He's about to be. Oh! I'm just undefeated lately. Paul, thank you, buddy. All right. I mean, I won Dustin and Kelly's game. Did you? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Positive. Oh, yeah. That's one where I drank all the... Maybe that's why I had the Oculum migraine. <laughs> you drank that Listerine. They poisoned me. Yeah. I drank two of them, and I drank Ugh. full. I didn't... Remember, they were like, just sip it after I drank... Oh, yeah, you lost like time trivia, too? Not looking good right now for you. You might want to hold off on the Matt Madness. January... Yeah, I was just going to say. <laughs> my comeback. It's me. It's will, my foot hitting this. Cookie jumped off yeah. the couch at the same time. Well, he is Panther. Let's see. Matt Madness. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Not Luke, she was on my team. It's fine. 
Let's see. Hold on. Let me find it. If Dan gets anywhere near his car to back up right now, I'm out of here. <laughs> I got to go save my car. I wouldn't have put the bumper on if I was going to do that. Ugh. Um, I did think to myself, if I back up into somebody right now, I'm good. If, hear me out, if you do, pin the gas pedal down and mm-hmm. fully go over my car. Yeah, I'm going to need a totaled. I'm not going to pay for I need it to be sitting car. on top. Yeah, I'll pay for your deductible. Yeah. Break a headlight. It was $250 for... Uh, my dad. I know. It's gonna be two thousand dollars for mine. When you when you said two fifty, I was like, thank God, dude. Um, thank God. There's a guy on YouTube. I can PayPal you two fifty. I can't PayPal you two grand, buddy. Matt Armstrong. <laughs> all he does is buy like wrecked cars from like Copart and fix them up. He just bought. He's done it before. He bought. Um, who was it? Adam LZ's GT3 RS. I was telling you about that. Yeah. He bought another GT3, um, in the UK. He was like, I had to get some new lights. They're 2,000 quid. I go, why the fuck are my RS3 lights yeah. almost the same yeah, price as GT3 lights? Doesn't make any sense. It must be the three. Um, Let's figure this the fuck out. Okay, so January 12th <laughs> is on David and Kira's channel, the whiskeychannel.com. January 12th, me, Cam, Matt, Grease, David, Kira, Shayla. It's the champion... Champion I miss Shayla I haven't seen her in a while. It's a champion off. And I'm going to be there. You missed a super chat asking about the baby panther omen? I'm oh, gonna be, shit. I'm going to be there strong, too. Oh, probably not. Okay. I would go up. Don't just do that. Just work, it's a good idea. Work. Is the baby panther virtue... Ba- that's, Is the baby that's panther hard. virtue drop coming soon? Uh, we got to rework the label. The label rework's done. Waiting at, Well, we've been waiting to name a different label so I can get color proofs of all of them at one time. Yep. So. Soon. Is that going to be the uh, grand opening label? Yeah. Okay. If it, I mean, at, yeah. Yep. We set a date on that publicly? January or February 24th. Okay. Yeah. I, I was going to say, I don't know if we said anything publicly. No. Okay. Nope, February 24th, though. Grand opening. Hey, my brother's birthday. For HQ, is it? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, let's start. Oh, that means it's Knox's birthday, too. That's, he was born the same day as your brother? Mm-hmm. Only you would What's know up? your dog's actual birth date. They told the us. The day. They told us. And you remembered, which is why. Because it's my brother's birthday. That's fair. There's, there's, it makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, that's fair. It was like, I don't know, my wedding right anniversary. Now. Probably would remember that too. I you were Gabby's say, birthday, my birthday. I, I'm going to remember mom's birthday or sister's same day. Very easy to remember. I would, I would have forgot it no. on the wedding anniversary. No. One. The other ones I followed you on. Friday. Um, yeah, that's true. Nerds. Uh, did Sean taste any of the blends from the other day? We tasted them today, Luke. Tastes like shit. Not ready. They don't, <laughs> okay, that's aggressive. They're not ready. Oh, they're doing it. They're doing the thing. He's been sleepy today. Sleepy cat. Okay, let's do these. Ricky said she knows our dog's birthdays. She does know that, but she remembers everything. Mm-hmm. Everything. All right. We have eight rise in front of us. Really quick, there's a pinned link at the top. We'll talk about this for people who just got here recently. There's a pinned link at the top. Everyone knows their dog's birthday. There's in this a chat. new. Okay. It's just me. All right. I'm the drama. Uh, <laughs> Starlight, VDN, and Gatekeeper. This is the new uncut series pairings. The. I don't know. I don't want to say it because I don't know if I'm allowed to. The Uncut Series is really cool, and you should be following along is what I'll say. So they take cigars from oh. distilleries and then do the pick with the cigar at the distillery so that, like, they're picking something specifically based on the pairing. I figured you're just going to rip it. I uh, <laughs> figured maybe you not. You seem like you're in the mood. I don't like it. So this is 112 proof, five and a half year old Starlight that was finished in VDN. I would imagine it's going to pair really well with those gatekeepers. We're going to do that later, right after we're done with this rye. It's orange wine. Whiskey of the year. So. Have you guys tried Dietling out of Alabama? I've heard so... I feel like I hear that all the time. People going crazy over it like Rare Character. Man. Who did we just talk to about that? I feel like we hear that. Like, I don't... It doesn't sound like a new word, and it's... Very much in the zeitgeist for me right now. Like, I feel like we just talked to someone about that. Yeah. I don't know why. It does feel like that. It does. I don't know why either. Um, All right, Brian Egan. (laughs) Gosh, that's so aggressive. All right, do we have a piece of paper? There's a book, perfect. Yeah, I left mine here. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I got a do. pen, though. Luke, if you want to, this would be, be incredible. Luke, 
Can you just do practical math for us? And we don't have to do it on the screen. That would be beautiful. We are switching this year. We're going to switch our scoring system to get our whiskeys of the years. We're stealing from Fred. We are just going to mimic our tier list, our uh, like current tier list. Mimic, videos, mimic. <laughs> and then we're going to mimic, mimic. So um, I think the way that Sean and I used to do these, it was all in a blind. Yeah. And so, so we would. It's very we, comparative. It, we'd have like 20 whiskeys. We'd do um, probably like five, four flights. So we'd have four at a time and we would just say, okay, this one's our favorite and it'd go on. And then eventually we just kept narrowing it down flight after flight and then objectively say that one's the best compared to everything else. Yep. Whereas we know now sometimes things just drink a little weird when you go back and forth. The That's comparison. why we always go blinds forward yeah. and then backwards. Yeah. So now we're just going to blindly drink them like we always do yep. and then just give a grade zero to a hundred, yep. um, taking everything into consideration how you good know, is the whiskey? How does it drink? How does it like evolution of flavor, finish, things like that are things that I think about. Mouthfeel. Mouthfeel for Dan, mostly. Um, he likes it. a nice cream. Um, <clears throat> anyways. You are. I'm yeah, I tonight. am. You're, yeah. In, you're in a special space. I am. It's a sexual space. Yeah. Very sexual. Now, um, so that way we can kind of step back away from saying that one is better than the other because of how they like matched up that time. Yeah. Now it will just truly be that whiskey this year for us was yeah. this score. Ivan Indrelin. What is up, buddy? Damn, Gifted Ivan. 20 subs. Thank Damn, you so dude. much. That's a thank ton. You, buddy. If you get one, say thank you in the chat. Oh, my wife got one. Hey, great job. Babe. I was waiting for my wife to get one. Well, she that, might still have one from last one. one. Yeah. That'll be the next one. Ivan, thank you, dude, for real. Hey, happy new year's. Ivan, he's not here. He's somewhere else oh, okay. in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you for being there. We love you. Appreciate you. I mean, that was specific and non-specific well, yeah, I'm at not the same blow time. Up spot, you know, so, so nobody blows up a spot. Yeah. yeah. Literally. <laughs> Ivan, appreciate you, buddy. Um, okay. I think he got to celebrate earlier than we did. I think he got a pre-New Year's New Year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we have uh, friends over in, well, Amy, you know Amy. Yeah. Um, she's over in Sweden. Oh, really? So way earlier than us. Is that like 12? I think it's. Six to eight, Man. somewhere in there. That's a that'll ruin your whole sleep schedule. Yeah. Okay. Luke said, "Read off the list and tell me what I missed." Scarlet Shade, Jack Daniels, Barrel Proof. Um. I put Blue Run in here. Emerald is good. It cannot be argued. Emerald's not good. Here's the list. Blue Run, Emerald, Emerald Rye, Scarlet Shade. Jack Daniels Twice Barreled Special Release Heritage Barrel Rye. Bardstown Origin Series Rye. Brothers of the Leaf Straight Rye Whiskey Finish in Toasted White Oak Cask. This is a wild card. Yeah, I saw I, that. This and is a I wild thought that card. too. I just want to try it. We have Jack Daniels Bonded Rye. This is Luke a said value it's six model. hours. All right, nailed it. So did Gabby. Oh, well, thanks, baby. Well, and she said it first. Yeah, so uh, Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof rye. This is from Independent Joe, right? Yes. That's, yes. That's so this, our favorite one. This one is one thirty-eight. Yeah, that's six, our high one. One thirty-eight point two, almost that's, hazmat. This is our favorite Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof rye we have. Oh, I just looked over. I saw the wrench. It's blue. It's different. Um, and then Barrel King straight rye whiskey. Um, this is going to be what batch batch seventy-two. I believe this is the plum one. We got bottle number one. Yeah. Yep. And uh, 116 proof. Yep. I think that's the plum release from Barrel King. It's a good one. Garrett said, don't forget to write down Jack Daniels is one of your answers. Some people forget. So I put accidentally, I actually meant to put this Jack Daniels Ryan there blind for him, the twice barreled. And Garrett ended up saying, that's got to be Brown Foreman. Oh. Maybe that's Jack. Yeah. It, it was the single malt sherry finish. That oh, he said that. wow. Guess Good what? for you, sir. Nope. Never wrote it down. Went back and forth. Goes, I'll never guess what that I'll is. I'll award you no points. He yeah. didn't get any. He didn't write anything down. We even gave him, I even said American, which threw him off more. Said it's an American single malt. And then he was like, I don't know. Uh, hard yeah. truth, right? I don't think we have we that. We don't have any hard truth here. Um, Mammoth hazmat, right? We have that. We have one. It's a pick. Luke, that sounds great, buddy. So. We do. We have, um... That was the David nerds and, and turds. Yeah, we have the David and Kara pick. Um, these were okay. Every one of the this, there's a this is the same reason we didn't put our 13th colony pick in. Yeah, hide a low. Um, because and the same reason we didn't put our eye in. 
things start, people are just going to complain. Something's biased, something's whatever. 100%. So the only single barrel in this whole thing is that Jack Daniels barrel proof single barrel rye. Everything else is not a single barrel. And you can just buy those and some are great. Yeah. The, the, like those are like shelf single barrels. It just, that's the skew they are. So that's why they're in. Parker's 10 is awful. Yeah. I it's don't terrible. It's terrible. Not going to be. Parker's 10 would be last place. I don't know about last. Dead last. Ninth. Maybe for me. In my brain, the only thing it could beat Scarlet Rye. Nah, Maybe. I was thinking Blue Run. Emerald is fantastic. It's probably their best. I bet Emerald's a dark horse in here. Yeah, I, I can see that. Yeah. That's Rutledge Rye. Only one ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Emerald is truly unanimously outside of some 14 single barrels. And 13 yeah. Blue Runs. Emerald's the best skew they have. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Okay. So we don't have any like mixtures choice to ride. This is just rice that we've gotten this These year. These are the guys. bottles we got. Yeah. This year for rye sake. Mixtures 10 rye. Love it. Didn't we, get one. I mean, we had a sample in Advent. Oh, it's so good. And it was fantastic. It's always the best. Yeah. Didn't get it. We always think it's a bourbon and it's always delicious. Um, I did want, I truly wanted to put a Philly blend barrel king in here. Yeah. Because I'm just a. You are madly in love with that I'm one. I'm in yeah. love with it, but it's not, it was not. That Philly blend that we have is from last yeah, year. Yeah, we didn't get any of the Sagamore stuff. Didn't get the eight year this year. Yeah. Um, I actually went, so today I went to every liquor store in town. And I don't know how many that is. What is that? Seven, six, seven? Uh, depending on if you're going to every one of them. Like uh, White Star and shit like that? Yep. Okay, then yeah, probably I went that. all the way past Tractor Supply. Yeah. I went to the De Liquor Deli. Yeah, then probably about seven-ish. They put a Galsim in Frick's. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. It was I, on the sign when I drove yeah, by. Today. I forgot about that. We, anyway. we talked about that the other day. Really? Yeah. We got to go there. No, not me and you. Yeah, me yeah. And Gabby. And we got to go there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well, no, I mean, pretty Why would we we'll do just that? Have a I'll just have one in my garage one. probably well, next week. James will have one. Like a, yeah. We can play courses and stuff, which would be cool, too. Yeah. that will be fun. Yeah. I'll be interested to see that. His space um, will be better than mine. Will it? Yeah. I haven't been in there. I don't know what it looks like. I mean, it was wide open, so it's just whatever he framed in. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Um, so I went to every store today. Look, you know who was closed out of every store I went to? Every store in town. Literally everyone that sells, like, that Wait. actually has whiskey. Did Joe send us an eight-year? The Sagamore eight-year you got, it's the 111.4 proof one. Was a spring release. Batch 2A is what it says. Yeah, it's 111 proof. This is it? He said it was 114 proof. 111.4, sorry. That's what it is. Dang oh, it, shit. Dude, this was this year's? I thought that was last year's. You do. Our bad on that. Dang it, this would have been in there. Uh, we looked right past it. Man. It we liked it a lot. It smells real good. It smells really good. Fuck, that does smell Oof. good. Our bad. Huge, huge apology to Sagamore because that, that belongs in there. Shit, I definitely thought this was from last year. Yeah, me too. I went looking for this today. I'm like, if I find an eight-year, I'll buy it because we're doing the right thing tonight. Mm. Gosh dang it. Add it in. We can't because these were poured blind by Ricky. And Ricky's inside probably still putting the kids to bed, I'd imagine. Ugh. Do you want to put it in and just know where it's at? Like, I know where it is for you and you know where it is for me. Luke, well, how do we do this? Luke, tell me how to do this. Everybody's saying it's really good. Port for each other. I know, but we have to tell Luke. Yeah, where it is. That would screw up the scoring for Luke to track it. Yeah. Is the problem. He just said no. Yeah. You each place the Glen? Well, then Luke would know what Glen it was. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I could place it in your order blind. Luke, does that work? And you could place it in mine. And then just kind of... It wouldn't. Luke gets job number 2801. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, dude. Luke's at deal. Okay, so if Luke knows where it's at, it's okay, right? Yeah, you'll just have to tell the camera. Yes. Which number it is in yours. You'll tell Luke what number it is in mine, and we can do this. This smells fantastic, and everybody says it's really good. I want to. Is, oh, we should have had Ricky take a picture of this and, and then just send it to Luke. Yeah, we should have. You think I can do it without looking? No, I don't. 
Um, <laughs> I don't at all. We could hold it up to chat. I don't think the camera would pick it up, though, is the issue. It might. I can stand behind it set to autofocus real quick. Yeah, do that. Okay. Be cool in chat, okay? Yeah, we're going to cool. throw it up there. Just ah, Man, that's why I just wanted to throw a picture up to Luke. Hold on. I'm going to zoom in, and then I'm going to hit autofocus, and then you can all right. it up. We're going to try something. Okay, ready? Yeah. Hold it like in front. Let's zoom as far as possible. All right, Luke, get that screen grab, and then um, you can write down what everything is. Yeah. yeah. And then that way, wherever we put it for each other, um, you, we can make that work. It's the only way I, we can do it without a third person because we can't have it in there, I feel. Okay, does that work? When it wins, it will all be worth it, said Travis. Dude, everybody says it's amazing. We haven't had it in a long time. All right, I'll go away. You want to do mine? Yeah. Shoulder just about popped out. That's fun. All right, so I'm going to fill up two, and then I'm going to place one for Dan. I mean, you don't have to really go outside. Shit. Oh, no, I just filled my number eight, so that's good. Just break that in. Oh, my God. I'm glad Ricky always pours so heavily, because I still have that much in uh, my Glen. That. <laughs> I got to show you how much just spilled on me. The bottle's in the way. <sighs> well, that one smells great. Let me just, let me just, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to put it in for number three for Dan. One, two. Okay. So Dan's new number three, Luke, is going to be the Sagamore eight-year rye. And then I'll go get him. He can throw it in me. I will show him what I just did and laugh my ass off. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, now is when I drink all of Sean's and mix them all up. And then Luke punches me in the face next time I see him. All right. One glass, one whiskey. Where did the extra glass go? I'm not, I don't want to mess anything up. Am I missing Gabby? What did you say? No, Gabby, Sean's going to be responsible. He's going to be responsible. All right, just a little bit. And we're going to get a dump glass, so we don't have to drink all these, obviously. Okay. This. Whoa, whoa. Can I look? Whoa, no. Okay, so it's like one glass is sitting in front of both of them. Oh, that makes so much sense. Okay, I, I already poured from the table, so you just got to place that. I just got to place the glass. All right. True. instructions were unclear. We almost messed that up, guys. And you guys are trying to explain it to me, and I'm just not on board with what you guys are saying. It's a whole thing. This is this. Ready, Luke? We're going to put it as one, two, three, four. Why? Sean just said it's cold out. Like, he, I wasn't out there for an eternity. Okay, oh, yeah, hold on. I'm going to split eight. You can come in. I'm going to split eight with you now. Okay. It'll be your number nine. My last Spoiler one. Spoiler alert. I did put it as the very last one. Okay, so you want me to split my last last with your eight? My very last. Well, did you put it as my last one? We glass? can't split it. I'm going to ruin it. It's fine. This. I'm going to ruin are. it. I'm going to ruin it. You know, I I would have to say it's still my last one because uh, there's... Oh, yeah. I didn't put yours last, so we can just yeah. split some of my last. Yes. And that would be safe. Yes. This is like safe sex. Yeah. Mm. Kind of sucks. <laughs> Listen, always practice. Uh, I was trying to pour that and go around, and it just went 
Dude, Boop. you spilled your in mine's light. You know what I mean? That's good. I mean, oh damn, even us out, dude. She went heavy on so many, and these ones, she's like, eh, my bad, dude. F them. That's good. That's good. It's good. Yeah. I, j- I just need a, a, just we need a, a dump, little a nipper. Throw. It, we, we're gonna. We don't need dump glasses. We can just leave them in the glass. I was gonna say I'm not drinking. Obviously, all these. No. Gabby said she was lining up an Uber, just in case. Is that what she said? <laughs> oh, I was just gonna take a little nippy nip. I think said, about it. I said we're gonna be responsible. Okay. <sighs> Everybody it seems was, so bright in here. Yeah, I can't, honestly, I prefer, I prefer the overhead light on. Oh, you looked up at it. Don't do that. It was a peripheral hit. Mm, That'll goes. give me another ocular. Yeah, it'll send me into an oblivion. Um, the first time I looked at a bright light after that was one of the worst moments. Luke said, "All set. We're good to go." We have no, it was very rides. easy to know which one I had spilled because it's the only one that was out. <laughs> like, well, a tenth full. So. What happened was I pulled the bottle. I poured a glass. I know. I, I heard you Everybody talking real quick. Yeah. And then I was like, shit, I didn't tell him I poured him one and yeah. set it in front for you to already pour. Everyone yep. in chat was like, it, I said, Sean had two glasses. Where's the other glass? I'm yeah. like, you know what? I don't want to screw anything up. Yeah. Everybody in chat's like, it's right in front of you. I'm yeah. like, I don't know what that means. It was the one it's that was physically right. In front I, of me. I know most people would have thought it was that but i didn't tell you so i don't know what you would have thought i was just pra- i just was trying to not screw anything up yeah you know what i mean because if that hadn't been that and it yeah. was something else or it was something i poured earlier yeah and i threw it in disaster yeah imagine that's the 70 percenter you're like whoa <laughs> oh <gasps> all right now that there's six guns a second <laughs> Well, what's funny is I just kind of bar poured yours, you know, and like they oh the yeah 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 I yeah. Wanted, yeah. I wanted to see which one Sagmar blended with the best. That's probably pretty good, and Sag- I bet you're very accurate with each of them. You cleaned I, up very well. Identical. Didn't miss a drop. It looks I, like that's like me. Long poured. Joe Sullivan with five dollar super chat just confirmed eight year pre sale was the day after my birthday last year, so it dropped February or March. Wow. And a bunch of people did back you up in chat, so I'm glad you said that. I Thank honestly you, thought it was from last year. Luke being very, uh, very flexible. Thanks, buddy. Very easily pivoting, Luke. Yeah. Appreciate you for that. Okay. Hopefully you got that screen grab so you can write down everything ahead of time. He said all set. Okay, perfect. I bet he's good. Luke is pretty fantastic at things like these things. And if you guys did see it, please don't. Don't say it. If you yeah. say it, you're mean. Don't yeah. be mean. We have like three rules and one's don't be a dick. Okay. It's the rule. Yeah, it's really like the golden one. What we're going to do, each one of these is going to get a score Ooh. 0 to 100. Sean and I are going to do them oh. at the same time so that Luke can just combine the two scores in each a total and then sort at the end. Okay, that's the, that's what we're going to do. It was from last year, 2023. Yep. <clears throat> Solid okay. point. Who said that? Eric. Eric, how dare you? That smells phenomenal. This smells... Well, <laughs> it's going to be fun when we start smelling stuff and disagree a lot. <laughs> that... It does smell good. That smells way more, um, like truly rye. Yeah, like truly rye. So we have um, two. Actually, we have like three or four MGP ryes in here. Two Legacy ryes. Rutledge's rye, um, which is just at Bardstown's actual rye. Yeah. And then actually, I think Scarlet Shades MGP as well, isn't it? And Sagamore is. Different rise from MGP, different mash bills. Does it say it was from Indiana? I think so. Yeah, distilled in Indiana. Yeah. Barrel King is, but Barrel King's finished. Yeah. Scarlet Shades, straight MGP rye, but old. And then Bartown's Bartown's Brother of Leaf's MGP. Is it? Yeah. Uh, that's what I, my guess would be. Sagamore still is Indiana. different mash bill MGP. So there's several MGPs, but then a few legacies. Bart sounds technically legacy now, right? Can we drink these yet? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Titus said, rule two, don't park behind Dan. I just saw your picture in the Discord when I was out there. That's rule two and rule three. asshole. Hmm. Okay. Sean posted a picture of my car in my driveway from his car and said he's getting ready to back (laughs) into more things. Oh. Oh, dude. That's pretty good. Smells pretty good. Um... Not completely in love with that. Oh, it's very spicy in the oh, end for is. me. Oh, it's almost um, well, herbal. Yeah, it's very herbal, but it's uh, I don't want to say astringent, but it's not astringent. I get a weird like... lemongrass that has chewed bubble gum on it. 
There's a different note there. Like, they didn't drink like I thought it was going to. Funky raisin bread on it. On the palate, like the, the end of the palate. It's not really bready. It's more raisin, oh, I guess. see. Now the nose is better. CJ, is it? I don't know. I think it said rye on the label. I don't know. I that am, one doesn't have a sticker on it. I'm going to be very low with grades tonight. Oh, you're gonna be you're gonna be strict. I already got my grade. You got your number? I got my number. It's gonna it's gonna start low, ladies and gentlemen. Frank, thanks for being here, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Because I feel like everything over there, I enjoy. So I can't start off. Everything can't be a hundred. I can't have ninety to a hundred be right. my my. Your eight or nine. Yeah. Yep. So I'm knocking some some down. I'm grading very heavily. Okay, I'm good on that. Okay. Seventy-eight. Seventy-two. We were close. Yeah. I wanted. I, this is a that's a borderline eighty. There's something on the finish I would love. Yeah, it's interesting. Second drink I love a lot. I I'm going to like all of these. There's not going to be one true. I don't that's true. dislike or anything. Um, Carl said 39. Off the rip, Carl. Dude, I, Shane, you imagine just going into someone's chat and saying, what's up? My name's Jay Money. That's why. Your name is Shane. <laughs> yeah, as Shane Mitchell. That's a cool tumbler. Sean's mom made these. A long time ago. Do we even right. have any more of them? Yeah, we're, the box is right. Thought we're gone. Behind you. Oh, yeah. Yep. Still probably one or two more. Yeah. We were going to sell them, and I then like they them ended up water. just being like, uh, Tumblers. We were, so when friends came over and we needed cups, we would just use those. We just, and we'd just give them to people because we had 30 or something. Yeah, we bought a bunch from her. We were going to do them for the fundraiser for the building mm -hmm. and then completely forgot. Yes, because they got put in a box in the corner. Yeah. And if we put a box in the corner, it basically there's, doesn't exist. There's lots of boxes and lots of corners in here. Yeah. Okay. Two. On to number two. Two yeah. is the color of Motor heaven. Hundred on the nose. I don't know, dude. What is that? That is a hundred on the nose. That's a hundred. Smells like um, waffles Perfection. with syrup. Or like a hint of pipe tobacco. That smells perfect. Like a flavored pipe tobacco. You know that vanilla shit? Yeah. yeah. Reminds me of that. Sweet. Come to find out, I love, I love the smell of a pipe. Whew. Smoked the pipe with Garrett and Michael that night. Fantastic. You know that place I'm in? I need you to stop making pipes. <laughs> stop making pipes a word. I love the pipe. All right. Love smoking pipe. <laughs> Oh. Josh, we thought about we talked about making a video about it. Oh. Oh, that doesn't that gingerbready. That's like a warm gingerbread cookie. Oh man, that's uh very toasted. Yeah. Whoa. I was getting a little toastiness on the nose, then I drank I, it and went I did not expect that at all. We didn't, uh, real quick, midwinters, I didn't even put midwinters in here. That's because it sucks. Holy shit. I just realized that. It's because it sucks. Actually, this year's pretty good. This year's was good. Yeah. Whoops. Probably could have taken Jack Daniels bound it out. Put in midwinters. I mean, <laughs> I didn't think about it because uh, it, it was barely worth every 100. Year we, did, we don't put it in every year every year i forget and every year i have to say you don't want to get hurt mention. yeah maybe it's subconscious yeah man that's a bummer isn't it this year's was truly good though we both agreed this year's was good. it was this year's was good still it's On rough it is rough at 150 whiskey's well, good i'll whiskey's give it that good. yeah that's i don't even you know what i'm gonna i don't know if i need a second sip i gotta have a score i'm probably gonna be a lot lower than you um, that's wild Gosh, dude, we went down. We went down the pipe mm. train here. The word you did chat problem. It's a problem, chat. Dan didn't strike me as a pipe layer. I, I just or of a that. pipe smoker. 
Man. Says the consultant. If you're going to say that to my face, you need to real, reuse your real name on YouTube. Um, How dare you? Only complaint. You got a complaint. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. I don't know if I like the big, like upfront part of the palette. Okay. Love the finish is great. Lingers pretty good. It's almost like a fantastic. smoky oak. Mm-hmm. I think that sits around. Yep. Um, with it is a smoky, like a vanilla marshmallow. A lot of vanilla. Like chills in there for mm-hmm. a while. I like that. Proof feels pretty okay. I think there's all, almost a cedar note in there. Yeah, a little That's bit. Wild. It's wild. It's that toasty bit. That is extremely interesting. And I prefer, I, and I enjoy it, though. It's, I, it's very unique, and I like it. Honestly, on the nose, I thought that was Jack Dale Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye. Same. And I don't think it is anymore. It is not. That, I don't, that's wild to me. Um, objectively, mm-hmm. I'm going to say 86. Oh. Wow. What's up? Mine was 87. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm listen. I'm not handing out hundreds. That's fair. You can't. Yeah, I'm good. Especially on two. Yeah. We hand out a hundred. Mm-hmm. That's ruined. Yeah. That nose is a hundred, by the way. Phenomenal nose. That nose will, is one. That is probably one of the best noses for the pipe, pipe laying fund. fund. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Laying dude. fund. Pipe laying fund. Did you say lying friend? What? <laughs> Being a pipe smoker and bourbon whiskey drinker, if anyone here has oh, man, a nice pipe, almost account. more important than the tobacco, you are missing out. Interesting. I enjoyed it a lot. I was told uh, I let it go out so often because you it's hard to talk, smoke a pipe and talk because it needs so much care. Attention. Yeah, they're needy. And I'm a talky gal. So That's why you're a cigar kind of guy. <laughs> Come find out. True. No, Dan gave it an 87. 87, Luke. Uh, 87 for me. 86, 86 for, for me. Very close. Okay. Moving on. Trey. Number three. No, two. Tiny little sip. Oh, I dude. I mean, oh, this one smells good. I have taken almost none down right now. It's just a uh, little little secrets is what we're going for. That's okay. I like that note. That's sweet. That's way lighter, sweeter. Um, significantly less decadent and rich. What is that? That's very citrusy. That's wild. Mm. That's very good. Whoa. You know what? Um, That's tr- a change up. Yeah. That is uh, an exact opposite from the last glass. Brighter, citrusy, fruitier, uh, mm. and then spicy on the back. Big back. Big back end. The more you share notes, the quicker you're going to realize which one's Sag 8. Not, we haven't drank Sagamore 8 in months and months and months. Buddy, I, I thought it came out last year. You guys are comparing notes while possibly having different orders, so don't talk to each other what you were thinking. Yeah, that seems like less fun. Well, yeah, but that also, it doesn't matter. We'll f- probably find out, actually, at some point when mm. we're on different whiskeys. Notes could be different. Sometimes, Sean, I have different notes in the same whiskeys anyways. Still whiskey. Thank you for the super chat, buddy. That's good. This one's good. My number three, because at some point these will be different in different order. My number three is very good. I might need a second for a grade on that one. I don't know how I feel about it right now. Do you guys receive a higher percentage from channel membership or Patreon? We receive higher percentages from Patreon. than YouTube yeah. takes 30%. Patreon takes less than 10 Oh, yeah, because we were in there we got five, four or five years ago yeah. um, now. So I think that our rates are like, what would you say, like double digit, 12 now or something? Now they're in the teen, low teens, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think if you make a Patreon now, you can write down Did the you guys grades. all Luke smoke pipes, keeping track of by the way? The grades. Yeah, Michael and Garrett do often. I do know that. Like they, yeah. And so then I was like, cool, now you guys can teach me. Because Michael's yeah. like, have you used it? And I'm like, I tried once and I can't. I Failed. don't understand. Yeah. That. And he's like, no, it's just you need, like, you have to work you gotta it. Be... And then you got to tamp it, and you keep working it. Oh. It's like a whole, like, there's a process. There's, yeah. And so, there was... it, honestly, 
dude, just the smell of pipes is the best. Yeah, ever. I could smell when I walked it's in. It's the like, best oh. smell. Um, growing up, my dad used to go to this like computer place all the time. Yeah. My dad used to be like way into computers, and the guy there would smoke a pipe nonstop. Yeah. And I was like, man, that's weird. Yeah. My dad smokes cigars and I go, I don't, or cigarettes. I go, I hate smoke. That's smell that. Different. I'm like, yeah, that smells good. Those are very different for sure. Um, dude. Okay. You know what we could do is just, we can each just individually say no. They don't have to match. You know what I mean? Like they don't have to be agreeable. Chocolate. Rain. <laughs> Earth. Fire. Water and air. Travis, what was the question you retracted? And then the fire nation attacked. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, dude's Avatar. <laughs> um, great show. Fantastic um, show. Man, that's got that's got a real green note to it. Oh, we might already be on different ones. This green, is absolutely. Buddy, I just, I just said that tastes green, and you go, it might be different. <laughs> this one's fantastical. I love this. Um, Sean's green doesn't mean what everybody else's green means. Hell no. Sean means floral. I nope. That's what oh no, that's from. like grassy is when I when I mean floral. I don't think green means anything for me. I don't means know. If, grass. Oh, I don't think I've ever said a color, buddy. You said colors. Mm. One. Maybe red. It was red or yellow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've definitely said yellow. I've used several colors. I'm a um, color guy. I like I like that. I like the idea. Green for rye. There you go. All right, I got my green. Okay. Hold on. This might be the most important. Stop everything, shuffle it all, then start over. Fuck that. We're only on the third one. Still sounds like a bad idea. Um, I mean, you know what we could have done is... Uh, I like this a lot. I'm a big fan. Put, of it, put the Sagmore in the exact same place for us, mm-hmm. right? And then I make some moves and I to mine and yours, ones. and then you do... Then our key's wrong. That's, well, I mean, Luke would be able to follow it up, right? He would know. Yeah, he'd have to have known the key first. Yeah. Either way, that would have been... A cluster. Could you yeah. imagine? Luke, I'm changing one for four. Jimmy Copeland. Buffalo Trace boy himself. Hey. Pipe tobacco fun. That is. Thank you, buddy. Matt Porter's long lost brother. I owe you a text, dude. Yeah, brother. I did not forget. I owe you a text. Okay. Um, Green two by four is a different thing. That is. That's true. Yeah, that's true. All right, go on your score on three. Were you counting down, or are you going to count up? No. You said go on three, and then didn't say a fucking your th- thing. It's your third glass. <laughs> Run number three. Okay. Not I thought you meant, like, three. one, two, three, no, we'll no, both no, say no. it. And then you were like, go on three? No, no, no. And just looked at me like, am I counting? Are you counting? I love that. No. Uh, I'm going to go. Eighty-eight. We might still be on the same one, because I'm a big fan of this one. I don't know. I wasn't going 88, though. 82. 88 is high. 88 That's is high. high gal. Enjoyed that. Me too. If we, Even if we're... I, three is a... Out of the out of these three? Yeah. Top two. Okay. I guess well, scored well, reflects that. Well, I mean... <laughs> we've only high. gone through three, so... The odds of being top two, very fucking odds high. high. I didn't know what was in my pocket, and it was this. Uh, 66%, though. And I crumpled it. Because I thought it was a wrapper. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a wrapper. All right, (sighs) moving to the fourth class. Fourth sample. Whoa. Daddy wasn't ready for that one. Sample 382.88. Thank you, Luke. Oh, wow. What's up, Drew? How are you, buddy? This smells incredible. French toast, eggs, pancake, butter, confectionery, powdered sugar, bananas. Vanilla. Holy shit. Oh. Well, that's not confusing. Are we in the same order? Well, no, right now, if we're in the same order. I know exactly that. Unfortunately, that's just obliviously incredible. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, no. That's so good. Oh, we're not in the same order. No, we're not. I know how I know. Look at the color. Yeah, I know. When you hit that, 
Welcome to f- heaven. Hey, buddy. Blessed be thy name. I know where the Sagamore 8 is on your lineup. Oh, I for- I had forgot yours. Yeah. I just um, let it go. Call me Elsa. Um, I have my... What was my first one? 72? Oblivious versus obvious, said Luke. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, what's up, buddy? Oh, shit. Mark, I have, I have a box for you. I have a box. For, I have a box for you and Larry. I have a box for you guys. I need to know where to send it. I have a box for you guys. It's from us. I need to know where to send it. Texas. I, I had the Texas. state down. You could have just sent it to his shop. I could have, but that would have been the obvious also thing, right? Like it to be, I'd like him to know it's coming. Oh, so that he knows when he gets a box that it's like. Would your name be on it? You ever just? No. Oh, maybe I don't know. I actually don't know what the labels have either of our names on it. <laughs> um, miss, miss you too, buddy. Dude. I was talking. I, I, I watched you on Instagram. I was talking to my son about you and Larry literally last week. And I was like, I need to send them something. So I got some stuff. I put it in a box. I need to send it to you. This is insane. All right. I have my score. Me too. 98. 70. That 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 there was like not a flaw in what I, I didn't give it a hundred. I don't know why. Truly, felt too much. I, it, that whiskey is phenomenal. The good news is, is I didn't know what this was, and that, now I know it's Sagamore. But I already already um gave it, I already gave it a grade, so yeah. we're good. This uh, whiskey is absolutely incredible. I wasn't a fan of whatever I just drank. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. It was something just not jiving there sure. for me, like right there. Whatever uh, I just drank is very rye. You know my concern? Uh, if I had a guess, and I would never be able to pull this one out blind, I would guess Scarlet Rye goes low. I would guess Bonded, Jack Daniels Bonded goes relatively low because complexity would be low. Yeah. I don't know where Brothers of Leaf's going. Oh, I do. Nick, no. Nick, there are. There are boxes in corners, but oh, there's his, boxes. Is in, his is in the office. Everywhere. His is in the office. What'd you put in there? Uh, th- glass. I like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Yep. Some glass things. All right. Went to 13th County for a tasting of their rye. It was mm. the best nose I've ever smelled. Did you smell an old one? They're wild. Minnick also spits all his. Yeah. So I mean, We can spit whatever, too. I don't know. Sometimes it feels disingenuous. I don't think I... But I also don't think you're getting through more than 10... At a time, uh, without spinning? Yeah, no way. Uh, I mean, because I mean, that that one is the probably I don't know. I probably drank a good amount of that one because I couldn't quite get my finger on what was happening. Okay, like that thing like when an everything thing. else was just yeah little secrets, That's fair. secrets. All right, we're moving on to glass number five, mm. right? Yeah, That's good. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, this one got a lot sweeter. This is going to be a really dumb question, but I'm going to ask so it out loud. Like candy. You good? After, eventually, because we both know that. Eventually, this, we'll line up again. We will? Yeah. We have to. Because we'll both take because we know Sagamore that our last out of it. Is not, okay, yeah. yeah okay. So, eventually, no matter what, if, even if this is Sagamore, we know these are the same. The last ones are the same no yeah. matter what. Okay. Oh, that is good. This smells Minty almost. Whoa. Maybe clovey? That's a fun drink. Spicy. Has some proof. Oh, the viscosity or whatever I'm drinking is wild. And the proof's high, but the viscosity is insane. Holy shit. What is that? Dude, that like is in the glass different. Is that my second one? Than the rest of them. Did you put it number four? Nope. Good to know. I was going to say, man, am I... Uh... The... This is like... Man, oil. what is this? Yeah, I kind of forgot we had a different order um, going on. And then he had the third one and was giving notes. And I was like, I can't give notes right now because we're drinking... Wow, these different, different whiskeys, things. yeah. I like what's going on in here. <laughs> it's 
screaming. Dude, what in the world? There's almost a little cedar on that one. That is the weirdest, most spicy, viscous. That's a rye rye. Yeah, baby. Oh, there's not a lot wrong with that. How's the snow? Tunes? There's not like any. Oh, we haven't had like nothing. Right now, there is like a dusting, is how I'd put that. If that. Like my Um, deck has snow on it. I think a lot of all of it melted. Man, that's pretty good. As a rye goes. The finish on this is fantastic. And it's spicy and it's warm and it's viscous. I got a score. Um, One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Yeah. Luke on glass, five. Five. Um, yeah, I got mine. Man, yeah. what is it? That I, objectively is very good. Um, it's very rye forward, whatever I'm drinking, and I really enjoy it. Um, it's got a hell of a linger, crazy fun profile. Uh, I'm gonna go 80 on that one. This tastes like apple on the finish. Oh, which is so weird for rye. That's what I'm trying to get. That's so different. It's so oily. I don't. Yeah, five. I'm very intrigued on. I don't know which one that one is, but I like it a lot. Um. I'm gonna. I'm going. Man, I almost want to go really high on that because it's so much different. Uh, yeah, eighty six. T long. We have done live Q and A's, but normally, like, they're we do prepared questions for the most part. Um, so we'll go to Patreon and say, "Hey, we're gonna do a live Q and A tonight. Throw some questions. We'll go through and mark some that we like. Rip through those, and then we'll go to like chat on any yeah. questions yeah, that people have, want. We haven't done, done one in a while. No, we haven't. Yeah, um, we can do stuff like that, especially like. I'm assuming when I'll be home. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's something I can walk away from for a minute or two. Yeah, for and sure. you can yeah. still be talking. I'm lining up guests. Yeah, Talk I appreciate to Cam that. Today. We'll see if Matt still wants to be friends or not. Probably not. Probably not. No. He's big time. With you though, for he's, sure. No, I don't think so. I think he's big time now. I I'm just from Michigan. The, You're at least friend from Michigan. I got the funniest text from Jared. About Matt coming, like, picking something. I love that, man. I love both those. That's a fun, like, <laughs> lineup with those two. Yeah, that's the best. Jared texts me. He's like, yeah, Matt would like um only buttered popcorn jelly bellies <laughs> while he's there. And I texted Jared back, and I go, he's already. I am Topher. I said, he's already a diva, huh? He's like, apparently. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that took one day. It was, like, the day after. Yeah. Um. So now that we're through them. We'll have the same lineup again because that was your. It doesn't matter. That was your. That was mine. Yeah. Man, that's good. Yeah, you gave you and I gave that a two point difference. Would you give it eighty two? Oh, I gave it an eighty. Yeah, that is um, good whiskey. Yeah, that is like really citrusy. Yep. It's fun. There's a good profile going on through that yeah, one. Yeah, it's good. That is very good. I'm it really happy forward. it wasn't that one because yeah, you didn't I don't. Like that I am one. not like. There's one. I don't know what that was. Sample four. So I think it was five for you. I love that. I didn't. I just like, gave that an eighty-five or I six. I did not like that. I, the finish I think on that. It was that, my seventy. Oh, I love that. Like so, the last four are gonna be the same. Yes. Yeah. So now we're yeah, back the to eight. Even. Is very good. Um. Yeah. Luke. Sean did that. Sean flipped it back up. I don't know. Who did you flip it, it nope, upside down? I did not. Oh. I don't know who did. Literally that. today, I just looked at it and go. What is it like? It had to be Nick. Who else yeah. was in here? A lot of people. That would do that. Nick. Yep. Or Alec. It hasn't been that way for that long, right? Could have been. I don't know. It could have been like that for two years. Wasn't yeah. Alec here for pours last year? <sighs> Had to be pours. Luke, how long has it been like that? Has he been here before? been like that then? for months. Oh, wow. Could have been pours then. That's wild. Damn. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't ever look at that. Plus, we haven't had this overhead light on True. in the longest time. So, like, this corner is normally pretty lit. dark. Yeah, the back wall is not usually lit. So this is yeah. the nice part about the light is there's some actual light around yeah. us now. Okay, next one. We're on sample six. We're on glass seven. One, two, three, four, five. We're on glass six, Luke. I'm sorry for confusing you. My bad. We're on glass six. I counted 100% sure. We just talked about sample five. We did do that. Yeah. And I put Sagamore as your fifth. Yep. So, in theory. Yours was your third. We would know. Found out on four. Yeah. As soon as you went to Jack Daniels and went, oh. Well, that smells really good. That smells fantastic. Almost a little peppermint in there for me. Happy New Year's, Drew. Appreciate it, buddy. It's got that, like, uh, cooling, almost menthol nose. Drew. Fustenberger. Fustenberger. Fuck it. 
you're definitely German. <laughs> that smells great. It's smoky. Really good. Charry. Smoky. Charry. Banana y. There's <laughs> no confusion here. It's the empty calls for me. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Mm. Mm hmm. I mean, that's good, but that's low proof. That's nice. That is sweet, sugary. That's like candy, truly. Clovey. Yeah. Um, it's like the shell of a banana's runs. You know what I'm talking? No? He did not say. It's the shell uh -huh. of a banana run. Yeah, it's different. They don't have shells. Yeah, they do. A banana run is a banana. It's a one piece object. You know what? Go buy some runs, uh -huh. right? The first like three licks of a banana run, it's it's it's, it's just not like the white part there's, yet. There's no flavor right. to it yet. You haven't quite got there yet. It's the coating. It's the hard candy shell. Tommy's in here. The candy coating. Yeah. Where's Tommy at? I'm telling you, you you have to like get through a little bit of that coating before you start getting the flavor. And it's like it's not quite there yet. You're just got that coating. You think on. so? Yeah. It's, it's I mean, it's just a subtle it's hint so of it. Sweet. Yeah, it is very sweet. Um, Tommy D in the chat, he said they finally see Mater? it. Finally, they see it. He must have done that. That was Tommy? pours. Pours in the park. It had to be pours then. I. You blamed Alec too. I, well, I mean, he also went around and hit a bunch of V cutters. He, so. Alec, we found one the other day. It's going to be on in, your shelf. It's going to be in one of the videos. Thursday. I pulled the bottle off your shelf. Oh, I think it was before you were back yet, though. You were still behind the cameras. I pulled the bottle off yeah. the shelf, and the cutter fell. And I was like, there's one. Alec, it, I still haven't found the other ones. Okay. Dan Rudnick see. said, your head's the one with the thick candy shell, Richard. Um, Rudnick. We had a teacher, yeah, Rudnick. I like that one. It is lower proof, for sure. It's not as complex, but what's there is good. You know yeah. what I mean? That, yeah. that, that's good whiskey, but it's... um. You think it's the one we think it is? It, I mean, it literally has to be. It's got a char note. It's got a fruity, sweet note. It doesn't actually taste like rye almost at all. Maybe clove. There's no mint. There's no dill, no baking spices, no licorice. The back end is almost a little margarine. Tommy doesn't know who did it. I, I think I got to go lower Mark on this one. Yeah. It's like flavor goes up, kind of plateaus mm -hmm. into like something just flat, like nothing grows. It doesn't. I agree. And then what comes through is just some of the alcohol. Like it's not high alcohol, but like it's like it's not whiskey flavor. There's just like that ethanol note that right. rounds out the mid palate and then very nice finish. I get like a confectionery frosting at uh, in the mid palate and finish i just get it's a just little sugar. something funky in the mid palate what's your score it's not gonna be high and i'm gonna apologize mine's not super high 68 Ooh, mine's 71 yeah i'm gonna be harsher it's just not complex. i think your scale's a little higher than mine's mine. just it's just not complex yeah there's i don't actually dislike any of it there's no complexity to it i just don't think it's as good as everything else i've it's drank here definitely not um, oh well, I take that back. I gave that one you higher. Didn't like that one, and I. It was still interesting though. Sure. I just didn't jam with it. All right, we're on glass seven. Nailed it. Cheers, Luke. Do you know how many people said when I wore this hat backwards, uh -huh. it looked like a do rag, because it's a little shiny? Oh, it does. Yeah. Wow, that's wild. In person, it doesn't. Not at all. It, it's on, like that black um, that hoodie, hoodie yeah. that looks like it's it the lure almost. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it looks like Twilight. Ricky <laughs> just re binged the Twilight All of them. movies. Goodness yeah. gracious, this is the most toxic relationship movie I've watched in a long time. No kidding. Did you did you yeah. smell number seven yet? Pretty good. That's some rye rye Ford gal. Oh, this is a rye. This is a rye <laughs> rye. That's not finished. Are any of these finished? A couple of them. Okay. Well, Brothers of the Leaf is. Barrel King is. Jack Daniels is. Because okay. it's uh, twice barreled. I forgot uh, yeah. about that. I completely forgot that was in here. Yeah. Holy shit. 
<laughs> Sean Morgan has waves. <laughs> Definitely ain't got the hair type for that. This smells uh, a tiny bit of cinnamon. I guess I get almost a little bit of that uh, buttery note. Or a little sweet herbal herbality, herbaceous. Yeah. Uh, like a sweet black tea. Yeah, like that. Citrusy. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's that? Mm. Oh, it's very citrusy. Very. Wow. Very sugary. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh. Honestly, I like the... That lingers forever, too. I really like the... Um, <laughs> I like the palate and the finish more than the nose, even, on that. Oh, I'm uh, Bovitz, Sean Puffy Paisley. <laughs> Damn, that one's really good. Puff Paisley. Oh my gosh, it's like a puff pastry. <laughs> it's wild. That's very good. This uh, really puff good. pastry has more color We're after it's seven, cooked than me. That's true. Yeah, it does. It's not even close. Oh, dude, that that one I like a lot. Um, I don't know what that is, and I don't want to look over there. I honestly uh, don't think I could guess more than two of these right now. I guess two of them. One for sure. Yeah. I think I have an inkling on a second sure. one. Oh, you got two for sure, huh? Actually, well, I, okay. I thought two, I thought I would have just two or two obvious. And then I remembered that we have the double barrel Jack Rye in here. Yeah. And I thought it was just the barrel proof Rye in here. I like this one a lot. I really do. Um, Me too. I don't think it has a crazy evolution of flavor, but what's there is super strong, and I like every unique, bit of that ride. Sweet, unique, like the sweetness is different than the other rides so far. Mm-hmm. Good viscosity, great mouthfeel. Do that, like citrus black tea note. Herbal, drinks like a rye. Rice spice picks up heavy on the finish. I like that one a lot. That's good. Um, that's really good. The proof's nice on that. Like that's a nice. You feel it, but then there's no like. It's not a, aggressive. It's I just got, there. I got my grade. Man, that reminds me of right one a little bit. Our right one. Oh no! Like that. I spice. don't get that. I get too much molasses on rye one. Oh, I mean it's darker, but like mm-hmm. the um, the rye spice yeah. about it, I love that. Yeah, that settles really. This like settles in with you. Yeah, this is like you sat down to relax, and you poured it, and it <sighs> followed you into the couch. You know what I mean? It just went with. That just, might be my favorite whew, so far as a full experience. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, all right, go ahead, Craig. I'm Ninety. I. 88. Absolutely love that. 88. Um, That's very, that was very, very good. As a full package, mm-hmm. that might be one of the best of the night. I mean... Th- yes, I agree. Is the total experience. Not yeah. as one flavor. Yeah. Not as just the nose. None of that. That, um... Happy New Year's, Eric. That's like this really fun... That's like the game Wave Runner for yeah. Nintendo 64. And you've hit every ramp. What's fun though is it does that to the the roof of my mouth. Everywhere, it's wild. And no, none of this. No, yeah. that's that is clearly that's like above one ten proof, I'd guess. <laughs> but it but none of it's here, and I love that about it. Dude, that thirteenth uh, century, that was right here. That was a, that was that there, was there right was here. Some gut health. Oh, the back the good bacteria. Yeah, I need to go home and take another it. probiotic for the day. Uh, cause I, it killed everything in dude, there. Dude, I jumped into a nice milk thistle and a nice milk thistle, milk thistle supplement for what? And a nice, it's bright orange. I don't remember what it's called. They're very good for your liver. Supposedly, maybe hopefully oh, brother up. What the fuck? They're just supplements. You just buy them from any place ever. Walgreens, GNC. First time hearing about this. What is it? What's the other one? Guys, what's the other one? It's bright orange. Somebody in chat will know this. It's a bright orange supplement. Oh, yeah, Benadryl. No. <laughs> <laughs> not Benadryl. <It's> every day. <laughs> Once a day. Uh, <laughs> <they're Cheetos. laughs> Cheetos. All right, dude. Shit, how did I miss that? Turmeric. Milk thistle and turmeric. Good for your liver? 
supposedly both very good for your liver. All right. All of the liver supplements, I started looking into liver supplements. Yeah. All of them have those two in very high doses in them. All right. Come to find out, then you start Googling those those two things. I'll have to look into Both them. of them, they believe that both of them have benef- their benefitive. That's a new word. That is a new word. And benefitive <laughs> deserves to be on the dictionary page. Benefitive is a word now. Is uh, Michelle here? Benefitive. Add that to the, the book of Danisms. Gosh, dude, that's wild. Turmeric, benefits. Turmeric has an R in it. I'm saying it with an R. Benefits. Dude, turmeric. Because you're eating Cinnabons. <laughs> dude, Cinnabons are so good. Hey, tell me why nobody else can make a cinnamon roll like that. No one can? Yeah. Is there a patent on it? I've seen you go ham slam on some Cinnabon. Beneficial would have been the correct word. Holy shit. Oh, man, that's such an easy Benefitive. word. I think I like that one more. Benefit is such a good word. Benefit it feels nice. Yeah. It's a nice feel. Is that not a word? It's a good mouth feel. No, that's definitely not a word. word. All right, you last sure? eight. So milk thistle? Turmeric. In- turmeric. Turmeric. What am I saying, guys? Luke said there's an R in it. Turmeric. I'm saying turmeric. 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 No, I'm not saying it like that. Turmeric. Myers. <laughs> it's not a turmeric. But you're saying tumor? Term, turmeric. Turmeric. I'm not saying turmeric. I'm saying turmeric. Yeah. Term, turmeric is good for liver and anti-inflammatory. Tur. But need to take it with black pepper. That's interesting. I haven't heard the black pepper thing. I'll sprinkle a little on the capsule. Shoot her down. It's been fish oil, milk thistle, turmeric. Tu, tu, Tutor. Turmeric. I'm not saying it like that. I'm going to say turmeric. You were saying to M- I'm not saying to ma Rick. I'm saying to yeah, you Rick. You're saying tumor. Rick. So exactly what Luke typed. He put ma. I'm not putting ma in it. You you're putting to mer. Mer, not ma. I'm not a ma guy. Brain turmeric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good not. one. That'd be a bummer. <laughs> hey, Randy. Whoa, yeah. Randy. Whoa. Damn, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. super Randy, aggressive. Randy, that was Randy, a nice way Randy. to ask us to move on. Uh, 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 Tumeric. <laughs> All right. It was Randy, funny. You know it. Gosh, dude. <laughs> Have fun, Randy. <laughs> oh. Okay. This smells great. This smells toasty. Class eight. Eight. <laughs> okay. Come find I'm that. now... Tumeric. I now question everything you say. Mm-hmm. Say eight. <laughs> <laughs> I no longer trust you, sir. That's very good. That's holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, I love that. Um, oh, whoa. What is that? An evolution of fun? Is something Ambarana in here? I. That tastes like it, but I truly don't believe so. I wouldn't have done it because you would have hated it. I would have done it on purpose is a good way to phrase that. Is the Barrel King Ambarana? No. No, that was the one I had earlier. That was a bourbon. What the fuck is Ambarana in here? Did she grab the wrong glass of something? No, there was only eight on the table. That's Ambarana. That tastes like it. That's Ambarana. But not aggressive. That's Ambarana. That's some subtle Ambarana. Did you wildcard something in here? That has to be Brothers of the Leaf, then. That's the toasted oak or something. That has to be that. What the? No, because those are all the bottles. Someone said it is 1% Ambarana. What is? (laughs) Benefitive is a word. I, I love this. This is going to be a problem. Benefitative. Benefitative is... No, I didn't say benefitative. That sounds like a real word. This, I said benefitive is what I said. Benefitive, yeah. Batch 72. Oh. That is batch 72. Well, that's Buddy, there's what, Well, now that. we know what that is, though. I. This is going to seem biased for me. Buddy, if it's one fucking percent, I drink it and go, is that Ambarana? Daddy's got a real Umbarana nose. It's really good. You're a dickle hound? I'll tell you what. No, um, I, I, but Umbarana I, I agree with you on it. It's not bad. Listen, As it goes. I'm going to be honest. It was Brazilian uh, wood you know I, adjacent. You know what I'm happy about now? 
What I'm happy about is I got I got to have a genuinely honest reaction blind to that with because now we know what it is. That's a bummer. That's kind of ruined some things. I got to have a genuine reaction as to how much I loved it before I knew what it was, and I liked that. I truly didn't know any of these had Amron in it. I thought Brothers of the Leaf might be the most finished thing in here. I mean, honestly, as it goes, it feels like the um, the barrel cast strength Ambarana, where it is mm. Ambarana that's blended into something, mm-hmm. so it mutes the fuck out of it. But it's there. That's yeah, whiskey. It's still whiskey. It's still, that's whiskey. I wish it was about 4% less, or whatever the fuck that is. Um... The, it's not the worst thing I drank here either. Can I tell you either. the weird thing about it? The it's weird good. thing is that cinnamon note on the back only comes through in the finish and not at all in the upfront palate, which I'm around, it usually just punches you in the face and then it chokes you out. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a full-on dominatrix. <laughs> you go full-on pipe smoking on it, yeah. Dominatrix. Yeah. I'm talking about the cheap one. Yeah. She'll, she'll beat the shit out of you, usually. That one... Actually, only comes in the no. Wow. Desert That's plum sense. export barrels, rye finished white plum. One percent six year bourbon finished umbrana. Desert plum export barrels. is literally six one year fucking rye percent finished in white plum, Hurricane Bordeaux style barrels. Six year bourbon. Oh, it's upper rye. So CJ was right earlier. CJ, I'm sorry. I saw you say earlier that it was finished in a bunch of things. I didn't know if you meant like. It was finished in a bourbon barrel, but it was still a rye. Do you know what I mean? Um, I got to throw a low grade at this. I'm sorry. I just don't like Amberana. It's fantastic. It has I'm a- so happy that I, had a, I got to have a moment, a blind, true moment. Because now, listen, I'm, I would always rate if Rio was in here, it'd be a problem, right? Yeah. That's 100. It, so It's not the best thing. It ain't the worst thing. I love 70. It. Umbrana will ruin the glass, though. It's not like that, though. I gave something else a lower score, and that's a 70. Because I would, if someone poured that for me at their house, I'd drink it. Sure. And then be like, all right, it's Umbrana. Mm-hmm. It ain't my favorite. I just don't like Umbrana. What's so interesting. Very true. Is it's upfront fruit. Yeah. And then it, it, the, when the fruit fades out, it goes to the Umbrana. In almost like a toasted I agree. note. Like it's I'm very, very all the interesting. Finish, though. It's, it takes over. How is but it's it not the, like a heavy umbrella, One percent. But it's not heavy. One percent. I know. That's why it's not I heavy. I wonder what that fucking umbrella barrel tastes like. Like every other umbrella barrel we've tasted. Dude. A monster. Yeah. Buddy, that's why everybody says umbrella is like two weeks tops. Like it's not a... F- We're not going to get in there and get along for a long time. We're here for a good time. We're here for time. a good time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stick to 70. The problem is, is now everybody's going to call my high-grade bullshit. Dan loves Ambarana. But I not I only know. love Ambarana, but I, I did have a holy shit reaction to drinking that the first time. That's a 92. It is. This it is, is why, like, Rio and shit is not in the Rio can't be in here. Yeah. I'd probably give Rio 100. Yeah. I think Rio's perfect. Yeah. Which is, a, I know. And I'd give it a 12. Yeah. Yeah, that's you truly hate Rio. Yes. Like not like That's no no, I like this so much more than Rio mm-hmm. because it is so much less Ambarana. <sighs> that's a, a barrel that, is still probably the best Ambarana. That's a bourbon that's a I think soft you can buy. Ambarana. Yeah. Like Ca- you said, I think barrel was the right comparison. Yeah. The barrel where they blended whiskey into an Ambarana bar- finished experience. All right, glass 9. Okay, ready? Well, Alec because Dan's a liar. Well, because everybody knows I like Barrel King is a problem. Now it feels bi- I don't want to give... You know what I'm saying? I had no idea. I thought that was a straight rye. What? The Barrel King. I I, I just knew it was finished. Truly didn't know anything didn't about Ambarana. Didn't know it was finished. I, I, I had no how idea. Much, how much of that bottle have I drank? Half. Didn't know that it had Ambarana in it. What the fuck? It does track as to why I drank half of it, because that bottle's pretty new. <laughs> Which is interesting. On the nose, I get a little bit of it. I'm with you. On the palate, though. I'm with you. Woo! Do I taste it? I'm with you. I don't trust anyone that can't back up their vehicle. <laughs> so, hello? Hey. Okay. 
What's happening? There's cops everywhere. Okay. Where at? Apparently, something is happening in our area as we speak. Okay. We're chasing somebody around. Oh, yeah. So someone's apparently running from the cops right now. All right. Right around us. No, I didn't. You're just telling us this. We're on a stream right now. We're streaming. No, that's all right. She's talking to everyone. Love you. We're not getting swatted. No. Hopefully. No. Are you come in here and be like, oh, you guys are drinking whiskey. Do you want some? Yeah. They're going to be like, fuck yeah. And we're going to have a hell of a live stream. Yeah, we are. Tell stories. Come sit down. Oh, yeah. Uh, Apparently, cops are all out and about right now. Great. Call my wife real quick. Just tell her to make sure them doors are locked before daddy's got to come in. We would hear a car. Bang, bang. Yeah, we would hear a car. That's fair. Yeah. Because if they're running all over, it's a car. It's not a person. My mom just called me to tell me to lock all the doors because, like, there's a bunch of cops driving around, like, looking for someone. Great. Thank you. Love you. I mean, it also could you. could be someone on foot. That'd be about worst case scenario. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you're not leaving the property. Uber fun. Thanks, buddy. Never. Um. No, God, no. Never. We're gonna kill you. On, wait, what? Yeah. You ever seen Blair Witch? Yeah. This camera is hooked up to the um, the computer, so we have six foot. So just, they got to come in dude, this building. I just had the MP. I'm going to throw a cookie at them. Where are they I at? Cookie's going to take them out. The MP Metal 2.0 out. Got a hollow sun on her. Love her. Love that thing. Fantastic. All right. We can go to that next. I was playing with it the other day. Okay. Real quick. So my sister. We're on. Wait, we're on glass. Did not tell really me. Quick. Any guidance for her? Yeah, you sons? told me this. You told me, yeah. Yeah, I bought them an air or a pellet, pellet rifle. Yeah. They love it. My older nephew goes, I already got one. I go, Good news. You now get to, I entrust this to you yeah. for your younger brother. Yep. You guys, he is so excited. Oh, I bet they're excited. Oh, yeah. yeah. They'll have a blast with it. Oh, yeah. Him. My sister like, didn't message me objects. and say anything so about fine. it. We're in the clear. So everything's cool. Her she, husband my, lives out. I mean, that's oh yeah, her, they yeah. they hunt, they fish, yeah. they hunt a lot. Yeah, um, they're what all about that? it. Why does it smell like a that? little weird? Um, but Gabby, we're like, we don't want to start that like gift giving war. I go, oh, I'm so petty. <laughs> you will not beat me. If you want to do this, I'll beat you. You have two sons. Yeah, that means I got multiple opportunities yeah. to give you more gifts that are more annoying. I only got one son. That's fair. So, we're good. Well, and you're like, listen, we'll just never accept a gift. Yeah. That's an option. Oh, dude. So, my, my younger nephew is seven. He's so excited about it. But he, every kid, like Holden has a BB gun. He loves yeah. it. Yeah. It's just like they're just a blast for them. Yeah. It's just a good Well, time. his older brother is uh, 13. So, mm-hmm. can trust him more with yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Share. Yeah. Just shoot random Inanimate objects. Oh, yeah. Pop cans. They live in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So shoot pop cans or something. Yeah, shoot Pop cans are the blast. Yeah. You get an immediate gratification. Oh, yeah. Shoot it several times. If you that's want. I got them targets that have like the. Um, oh, that's perfect. They, they change colors when yes. you get them. So you like the green. Yeah, it's perfect. Instant. Yep. I used to buy uh, the zombie ones. Drum set? Oh. oh Those kids will get electric guitars. That's aggressive. Okay. Glass eight. You think drums are annoying? Electric guitar. This smells. Um, I think it's still nine. Sorry, it is nine. I'm sorry. It is. Eight was the last one. This truly smells like... MGP Rye? You don't think so? Tennessee. This smells like the Parkers. This smells almost identical to the Parkers for me. Really? Which is weird, yeah. I get the... the, the okay. I get a bit that, of dilliness out of this. That's the wrong phrase. The phrase is, the thing I didn't like about the Parkers, I don't like about this. I get like a charred... Um, dilly note on yeah. there. I don't. I just, man. There's what was the note on the MGP that you didn't like? No, the Parker. Or I'm sorry, the Parkers that did, you didn't minerality. like. Minerality. Okay. Sour. Really? A sour minerality, which is why I reference that as Dickel, and I feel like I'm back. I know what you're talking about. I don't. Um, you. I think with just a, maybe a butter pickle instead yeah. of a dill pickle. There is a heavy set, uh, like a calcium note 
Yeah. If you have yeah, there ever is. had hard like, water, you know yes. that note. Yep. Oh. So, yeah, when we, we say minerality, oh, I yeah, guarantee not, that's it. No, not yet. For what? Gabby has not had a baby yet. Sean I, would not be sitting right here had Gabby had the baby. Phone's here. I'm going to go call the police. They'll get me home. I don't they might be busy. Uh, good news is my parents also live um, one mile away. Uh, worst case scenario, I call them. It's not a bread and butter. No, it doesn't taste like that. It's almost savory. It's really oily. Mm. It tastes better than it smells. Super low. Oh, I do not like that. Um, it's got that stale water note. And it's funky. That's a funky ride. I don't know what that is. Is so there like an inflammation coming from something I'll else? give it another try that is super low proof. Um, Could it be you? There is a note that I get on a lot of things. It's a stale water note. You get it on Rise usually. I do. I've got it on very old Rise or MGP that most people have loved and never tasted it. There's some uh, chemical compound that I apparently am very hypersensitive to. And I've tried to guide Dan to this multiple times. I think one time we found a bottle that we could both find it in. Yeah, I was aggressive on that one. Yeah. It was really aggressive. Other than that, yeah. I'm like hypersensitive to it. Okay, I'm good It's on that. got a bit of that. I got a note. All right, a score. I have a that score. might be the worst one for me because of that note. <sighs> what do you think that? I, man. I'm, I'm going to give it. Oh. I wonder if it's a youth note. That might be the scarlet. I forgot that you know that's what it low is? proof. It's like a lemon citrus almost, like an actual lemon. It's very citrusy. Yeah, but it's, lemon it's grass. almost acidic. It's like the borderline. Oh, yeah. Instead of sweet citrus, like, yeah. it's like acidic citrus. Like well, a grapefruit. All citrus like is a, acidic, Dan. A, a grapefruit mixed with a lemon. Citric acid. That's weird. Um, okay. I have a score for that one. 70. And then we're going to rank them. Sixty-five. That is the worst one for me. That's got to be Scarlet. You think so? Yeah, it's so empty. It's low Man. proof. Um, I get that stale water note in there so bad. I hope that's not one I thought I was in love with. I don't enjoy that. You know what I do enjoy? Me neither. All right. All the scores are in. Do you want to guess them before they? So I know that three was my Sagamore eight, and we yeah, know that and nine, five was, was my broken. Sagamore. Yeah, that was that. Those are the only ones we know. Um, while Luke's tallying, two is super fucking finished. Luke, for us. just text me the here. Just text the answers to me or something. So pull them together without the um, Sagamore in there. Don't do that. Why? It's five for me, three for you. Why but we'd have the same lineup then. I'm just saying. Oh. So we could talk about it. I see. Is this mine? No, that, I think that's my nine. Yeah. Yep. That is okay. definitely on Barana. So that's my five, my nine, or eight. Um, three, then from us, for both of us, I think is the Jack Daniels, Ryan. I think that's going to be first. So the old, so which one of these? This has to be the Jack Daniels double barrel, right? Two does. It could Two be. Two has to be that. Probably. Which could one be. is the Brothers of the Leaf then? Because it's isn't that toasted? Yeah. Man, that one was sneaky. There was one other one that I got like toasty notes off of. So two has to be Jack Daniels single barrel or <laughs> double barrel, right? Three is Jack Daniels single barrel, right? And then Bonded was definitely the one over here somewhere, which everyone was like banana -y. had to be. I think I think that you're right about Scarlet, right? I don't know which one was Emerald. What no, me have? either. Or Bardstown. Wow. Oh, I forgot that was in there. Holy shit. Is that 100 proof? Uh, I think so. 90 or 100. Oh, I completely forgot that was in there. Yeah. 96. And I hope we really didn't crap on uh, Bardstown in the end there. I just did not enjoy that. There was only one I didn't like, and it was this, that I wasn't 
super fond of, and it was um, nine or yeah, it was the nine, last nine, one. Yeah, the yeah. last one. That's the one I spilled. It's all over me. Yeah, I'm one with it. Man, that. Uh... So Luke is going to be doing some tallying. Um, I would bet the Jack Daniel single barrel one for us. Uh, I, I get that like an 88. 98. I gave it an 88. Did you give anything a 90? No. Uh, wait. I, w- I gave one a 90 flat. I don't remember which one it was. I gave something a 90 flat. Just above that. But I think your 98 really made up for whatever I could say. I really think that my favorite nose was number two. And then my favorite... Man. All right. Ready? It's Luke, Luke it's texting you. Let's go from last place. All right. I bet ninth place. Uh, what's the proof on Emerald? 117? Yeah, it's like barrel proof. Oh, Okay. I All think right. last place is probably going to be Scarlet. I still think Amarana aftertaste tainted the last class. No, it didn't. No, I know no, what no. it is now. Ready? Yeah. Uh, ninth place with 135 points. Very low. Scarlet Shade. Yeah. So Man. it was. It's aged in Tullahoma. Is that why? Guess that one right. That is MGP Rye. I know. Why does it taste it, like it, that? It, it's very funky. Here, let's make like a lineup for it's, people, like a visual. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, here, we'll start over by Dan. Doesn't matter what order these Interesting are. you're doing that. Yeah. I'm just getting them out of the way. Yeah. So we have room. I figured we'd just go across okay. the table. Yeah. Next, 139 points, beat it by four. Okay. It's about $100 cheaper. Jack Daniel's Bonded Rye. Wow. Uh, which one was that? Number what? Bonded Rye was uh, eighth. Number eight? Uh, where in the lineup? Oh, I'm I have sorry. no idea. Oh, the shit well, would tell us that. I could just you tell have you. to do that not at the same time because it's going to get real confusing. I'm I'm just doing it for me. Sure. Like I just want to know. Okay. Was it the glass we thought it was that you said tastes like the shell of a banana run? It literally had to be. It would be number five. So actually, for me, six number for six. See, this is why that's going to be a night. I don't because yeah. I don't know what glass that is for me right now. Not off the top of my head. Or five six. I think so. Okay. Seventh, 150 points, a little bump here, 11 point bump. All right. Bardstown Origin Rye. We're going low proofers right out the way. What's this one? 96. 96. 96. Toasted Wait. cherry wood. So this is finished as well. I forgot that's finished. So this is thus um, far. All right. That was number one. Really? That's easy. Okay. It actually has a little bit of that. It smells good. Yeah. Um, okay. That was that was the first big like jump in points we had. Yeah. Uh next, sixth place. 156 points, so six point jump from the Bardstown. Yep. Brothers of the Leaf Toasted Rye. Really? Um, that one was four. That was the one that I thought might have. So five for you, it would be five. Yeah. That's the one I thought was Jack Bonded then. That was the one that I uh, I messed around with a bit, and I was like, I can't place it. Which one? Oh, no. Because this it's is five. My, I, took, I, we, I pulled the Sagamore out. Yeah. So that was your third. Nope. Fourth. So realistically, for you, it would be number four. That's, yeah. That's, yep. Yeah. Um, yep. Okay. One, two, three. That makes sense. But three is Jack Daniels, right? Was four. That was the one that I kept drinking. I was like, dude, I can't put my finger on what it is. It's funky. Yes. So we were right. That was that. Okay. Next. Fifth place. Another jump in points. Six jump in points. Was Barrel King Batch 72. Solely because of Sean's shittily low I put grade. it very low because the Umbrana, uh, it is not my favorite thing. I'm sorry. That was my second place overall, by the way. Um, really? Yeah. It's the only other thing I gave over a 92. Your problem. The other thing that I gave over a 92 won. Um, Your real fucking problem. Fourth place. Oh, tied. So that tied for fourth. Sorry. Wow, that blue room is good. Okay. Barrel King tied for fourth. Uh, with Sagamore eight year. Wow. Oh God, Blue Run really is the dark horse here. I called that. But yeah. Um 
Oh, no, I need you to drift around my glasses like a little bit here. Everyone can see. It's fine. We're going to make a little horseshoe. The... That one was uh, three, three for you yeah, five and three. five for me. Um, Jack Daniels twice barreled rye was third place. Wow. Oh, my. Oh, my. Which was definitely number two. It had to be. Um, uh, yeah, that was the special. Not even, number the two. color on it's wild. Oh. You gave that a 98. No, I did not. I gave that 100 on the nose, and I gave it like a 86 or something. Oh, I'm sorry. Jack Daniels single barrel is what you gave 98. Yeah. I gave an 88, too. Um, second place, Blue Run Emerald Rye. Wow. Good for it. I told you guys that Emerald's a fucking goat. All right. First place, Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. This is our favorite barrel of or bottle um, of Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof that we have. And that scored 186. So the spread was 186 for first. 135 for ninth. So this is last. The it goes last to first on your screen. Man, that blue run is good. It just is. It's just good, man. That what, is by what glass fa- number was it? Sorry. Um, that would be. You can take the Sagamore out of it. So whatever glass number, Ricky. Three seen. back. From. Yep. Man, it's just it's unique. It's just fucking good. It's sweet. Um, it's that sweet black tea. It's good, man. It is. It's a which, little citrusy. Which I'm glad that it turned out to be that because I always thought it was a little herbal. It's it a definitely ri- is. It's a rye it for definitely sure, is. But <sighs> it's still sweet. Um, uh, this this Jack Daniels is 138.2 proof, so 69.1% alcohol. Um, shout out to Independent Joe again. Uh, best trade in the world, come to find out, to uh, hang out with him. And play some games and get this as a return. I sent a virtue. I feel bad. I think bad. we have four of them. Uh, yeah. And that one was far and above the best. That's our favorite one. Yeah. Uh, that's the sweetest one. We have one that's really minty. We remember? have one that's or, super or, herbal. 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 Yeah, Not more like herbal. the Blue Run, yes. which was number two. Yeah. And we like that one because in the, the the comparison video that we had for this, we did three different ones. Sure. We had some that were more herbal. Yep. And almost this profile. Yeah. No, that's very that um well this was the cheapest ball in the lineup. Wow, we Jack almost Bonded. didn't put that in there as fourth. And yeah, these two That's tied. a real fourth. These two had the exact same points. That should be lower. It shouldn't be lower because you mark it down for one note. I it's um yeah. But it's specific to you though. That is a hundred percent. So it shouldn't be lower. Uh-huh. Because it's specific to the Scarlet Shade went really low for me because of that specific Scarlet note. Scarlet Shade went really low for me and I didn't I don't get pond water. It's just not good. Yeah. You see the problem? Yeah. This is fucking... Th- there's something going on here. Tell me that's not... This was stored in Tennessee, I believe. Something's going on in Tennessee. Was my top pick actually this? Your top was the Emerald. No Holy kidding. shit. That's wild. Very good. That's... I thought this was my top pick. That's the one I gave 98 to. I think I had... E- that's why I said it was perfect. Luke, tell me my grades on these two. If you can. I'm sorry. Um, I thought this was my top grade, and I thought this was second. I thought I had like 88, 86. That's wild. It, it's good, and I love to bust your chops on it, but goddamn. Yeah, you we did bo- before the stream. Yeah, we both know this is by far and above their best I product. I did know that. We even talked about it and said outside of the double-digit age statement. I did say that. Yeah. You keep saying we in these statements. You didn't say those oh, statements. Oh, I agree on you, though. You said... You put Blue Run in here. That's what you said. Here she is. Now, here's the thing. I don't have any of the double-barreled yeah. Blue Run Rise because yeah. I they were I didn't buy any. I wonder if those are absolutely phenomenal or if they're not Rutledge because their Golden Rise weren't Rutledge oh, distilled. I did give that a 90. Give that a 90. That's I your that, only 90. Give that a 90 and 88. That's wild. You like your tea guy, though. Big tea guy. I am. I love Big tea. tea. So for me personally, that is a fantastic ride. Luke, what did I give the emerald? If you don't mind just looking at one more for me, I won't ask for any more. <sighs> this, this, this Scarlet Shade, that's a bummer. What's the most expensive bottle here? Um, Scarlet Shade. <clears throat> no, that's a hundred bucks even. I know. Um, these were like 70. This is Scarlet Shade, dude. Came in dead last. 
80 on the... 100. Emerald? They're 100? Uh-huh. Okay. What's that? I have no idea if it was a special reserve. Oh, we um, paid 200. Yeah. So that would, in theory... Oh, we did the pay 200 expensive. for this. Worth um, it. You know what? Worth it. Yeah. Fantastic. Good. 80? Probably. 125? Yeah. No idea. 80? 60? No, this is the most... 80. 80. 80, 80, 80. 80. 80. It's 80. 40-ish? Bonded right? 40? 125. 140? 150. <clears throat> oh, that's a bummer, Oh, you dude. gave Emerald an 88. I gave Emerald an 88. Oh, so I put it high, too. Yeah. yeah. The reason this... this I put sh- Emerald third, then. You get this a 98. Yeah. It's is why this it's one. perfect. 88? Yeah. And I gave it a 90. That, that jack is perfect. There's not anything wrong with that jack at all. It, it, that is... So, okay. The closest to a Koi Hill ride Hear me out. I'll ever drink. Hear me out. This was my third sample. Mm-hmm. That's a little gun shy to go too high. Sure, that's it. fair. No, I'm not dis- your, I am yeah. not discrediting this in any way, shape, or form. Sure. I stand by the 90. This should have probably been higher for me. Yeah. Listen. I don't want to blow up the scale too early. It is what it is. Um, but I'm actually happy how this panned out. That jack is a perfect pour. Um, Emerald's fantastic. The I, Man, is what, that shocking. This, we... We reviewed this. We reviewed all three of the ones we had at the time. Do we, we count the, we, the shipping in? No. When we reviewed this one, um, that we compared it to the Jack Daniels Limited Single Barrel Rye release that happened two years ago. Yeah. That and one that competed. Better. That was better. With that Jack Rye. No, that is which better. Which is one of my favorite ryes of all time. <laughs> so, and it could be. That's the thing. We've never <clears> blinded <throat> it. I truly believe that it could. 138.2. Could be. But um, That might be one of the best. Bottles of rye we've ever owned. It's that that feels like a Koi Hill of, it's one of them. rye. That's what I said, yeah. yeah. I said, that's the closest thing to Koi Hill rye I'll ever drink. Oh, I did not hear yeah, that. Yeah, that's that. Okay. Because I, it, it is. It. What batch is the emerald? I should say on the neck tag. Oh. BK retails 145. We have members get bottle cheaper. 16. Yeah, my membership is like 125 a month, I think. Batch says summer. And then you get a, you get a bottle for the 125. Not, summer. There you go. It just says summer. Yep. There's no date That's on it. it There's no date summer. Oh, okay. It's just a season. Just a season. Two seasons. Summer batch, apparently. That's an early summer batch. So if they did summer this year, was the one previous. CJ said BK is so worth it. Agreed. Oh. Agreed. I think we, we talked about January it in the video is today. Be wild. Um, oh, there's shit coming in January. Spoiler alert. Matt Porter's on there. Well, um, Jared always does like a well, Jared does a video every month. Settings. Or analytics, one of the two. Jared goes, um, you want me to leave it there? Yeah, thank okay. you. Um, Jared, every month, does a video before the releases launch. Yes. Jan- January is going to be a monster. I didn't watch the um, January video. Oh, you get to watch them. I do. Isn't that nice? Yes. You piece of shit. Yeah. You son I, of I'm a always bitch. in the know. I'm always in the know. Are those videos public, actually? They might just be public. They could be. They have to be. Because when I log in the, the I'm Bourbon I'm a YouTube junkies. member. Oh, of yeah. them, the they junkies account public. always populates them. Those and have I watch to be them. public videos because I like Jared. Yeah, Jared's the best dude. He's a great guy. He's, he's amazing. You want to get into the the VDN and yes, we're gatekeeper? Do that. Then okay. we're gonna shut it down with the yep. uncut series, Starlight VDN, and a gatekeeper. Okay, real quick, last question about this lineup. Yeah. Any way, shape, or form, how you thought it'd shape up? Okay. Now I did say ahead of time I thought Emerald would be a dark horse. I, I, I did, will. I didn't know it'd come in second, truly, but I did assume it'd do top unequivocally four, too. Probably four. I figured top four, probably. Okay, I'd um, give you that. I think honestly, looking at it, we both know this is a fantastic product. I would have given it fourth. Fourth? Yeah. I think that would have been a fair yeah. score. A hundred percent. Um, dude, I keep seeing that thing of Knox is laying down there, just a, like hilarious. brown out yeah. of the the corner of my eye. You not both of them. <laughs> just double it. Yeah. Just a little couple. Little with two dubs nicotines. Keys? Yeah. Um, so I did, I did truly, honestly figure, buddy, we, this com- VDN, we compared Bellish. that Jack Daniels to when we compared that to the limited two years ago. Yeah. Independent Joe sent me a blind that Jack Daniels ride from two years ago, beat Booker's ride for me in that blind. It's my favorite ride of all I time. I love talking about this because we just talked my about it ever, today on a video that Jack Daniels for the last Four or five years it. has been murking the game. They consistently keep putting out limiteds, um, like distillery only things. Uh, what is it? They're 
uh, Tennessee tasters or whatever are some of the wildest things we've had in the wild in the best way. Um, they are just slapping their D down on the whiskey market. I don't like, I feel like they put down too many barrels and they're like, Hey, these can't all be Jack number seven. So do whatever you guys want. And they've been doing whatever they want. It is always fantastic. Um, but yeah, I think, I really do think that, um, I thought that the Jack would be top two for sure. I, yeah, I was, con- a bunch of people said that this didn't open up really well. It got really farmy and gross. So I, I was kind of worried that you and I would put that low. Oh no. Uh, it was good. Cause you and I haven't drank it since the reveal. Fantastic. And Anything that says heritage barrel. We've been large fans of. Yeah. I expected this to go lower. Serious pipe. I expected this to be... I was hoping that Scarlet Shea would do well, but it didn't. This was a wild card, 100%. I didn't even think it was going to. And I... I think it's amazing. This is my favorite rye I've had from Barrel King since the Philly blends. Philly blend? Yeah. So, the Philly blends are absolutely phenomenal. They're all finished in different stuff. It's really cool. But, needless to say, so is it, it's probably relatively close. Did he have a strawberry rye, too? Yeah. Okay. That's a Philly blend. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. That's a Philly. I was going to say, we need some shit up. We have a, two over here. We just have so much We get to do whiskey. Yeah, we get to do whiskey the year next, next day is what I want to say. I want to say next week. My heart was like, next week. Turn the overhead on with your I will. Phone. Um... And we're going to do Whiskey of the Year tomorrow. Drew, we just today we shot our favorite available bottles from the year. And we shot like um, our, like a list of like brands that we are interested in like following in next year. Yeah. 100%. Or this year. That's um, what we shot today. Tomorrow will probably be Whiskey of the Year. There's some fun ones in there. So, really quick, this is the Uncut series. This is a pairing from Alec Bradley. This is a Starlight VDN finish. It's five and a half years old. It's like 112 proof. Yep. And if you buy, if you click the pinned link at the very top, Bourbon Outfitter, you will take you to the link where you can buy this pairing. So you'll get four Gatekeeper Coronas. You'll get this Starlight VDN finish. And honestly, every this is the third one of the Uncut series. And these They've have all went great. absolutely been like a I blast. I hate giving Alec praise. He's so good at this, honestly. Okay. So normally what I do is I uh, drink the whiskey by itself. This is, listen, I've marked some of these. So uh, Yeah, you have. You I, and Klein put some down on a golf course one day. Yeah. I love these. Will you throw me that cutter? Yep. See, this table, they didn't sand good enough. No. Mm-mm. No, it didn't come in that rough. rough. Yeah. Yeah. It needs like a light, really light, high grit sand. All right, so normally what I do with the Uncut Series. There's an Uncut Series coming. And if you have any Alec like Bradley four. cigars, could you just V-cut them, uh, throw them on Instagram, t- tag Alec and Bradley. It'd be great. Alec loves that. Ooh. Did what, he go around? What's VDN? Uh, Vino de Naranja. Is it the orange one? Orange wine. Okay. So. Um, I do believe like two years ago, no, I'm uh, no, I'm wrong. I thought Matt did one. It's uh, VDC Vino de Chirons okay. is what he did. Yes, PDC, yep. Pinot de Chirons. Yes, yep, that's Cause right. I, yeah, because VDN and PDC confuse the fuck yep. out of me. But the Same. first letter, yep, is different. Alex had love a V cut. Liar. Orange did pills I, and white wine, said David. Did I send you the picture of the uh, love of the last fine rare that I had? It's V cut at a bar. They loved it. It is. It is. It is very orange citrusy, for sure. Um, it reminds me a little bit of those chocolate oranges. Adam, that is good. The uh, uh, mash and drums pick from Sagamar was good. Okay. Oh, you said chocolate oranges. Yeah. Yeah. During wait, Christmas. Wait, wait. Hear me out. I said this no earlier. I need to Google if it's real. So I always do the whiskey first, and the only reason I do it. Yeah, it is these. Oh, I've never seen those. It's chocolate wild. Cheerios. I've never seen those. The reason I always do the whiskey first is to see the change. Yeah, the evolution. I love the change. 
the thing that's been I really know what cool, a gatekeeper tastes like. Well, I, well, like we've had rebel picks. The first one was a Starlight Amarana. Mm-hmm. The Starlight Amarana by itself I didn't was, do it. Sorry. was okay. The Starlight Amarana with the Ooh. cigar was really cool. So I truly just want to see like what they're capable of creating with the pairing rather than did you pick a good barrel? I already know I like gatekeepers in this scenario, so that's a little different. But it's uh, this is probably one of my like this is probably my number two cigar that is from Alec Bradley. This is the the gatekeeper uh, in the the Corona. I think I always say petite Corona. I say it's a little gal, um, and then a Kintsugi. Oh, he's number one. Um, uh, this tastes like a chocolate Cheerio, buddy. That tastes so much. Like a multi orange chocolate, chocolate Cheerios orange. with orange slices. Yeah. Is this your, uh, no, That's, this is the twin flame? This one Alec got me. Oh, fitting. Matches my car. A little Dupont. Matches Alec hadn't got me any uh, cutters. He got you a bottle of Cellar's wine. No, my wife got that. Oh. I love that man so much. All right, let's see. Gatekeeper, always absolutely fantastic. Um, like I said, number two cigar form yeah. for this me size is through uh, AB. Just the best size. It's not even it's close, too. It's to. really not. It's just not. Well, Blind Faith, I think, might be close for you. Really? Man, you went through a not, phase. Not to this size of Gatekeeper. Okay. I was going to say, you went through a phase of Blind Face. Okay, Eric. You son of a bitch. Hey, thank you guys for being here. Thanks for hanging out for the Rye Flight tonight. 100%. Click the like button while you're here. It just helps us out, and it's free for you. Appreciate you guys. It's the season of list videos. Yeah. Actually, I mean, now, that we, is. now that we didn't shoot it, we can actually get... The ECBP from Luke and make a cam video about ECBP. A22 versus A23. That's the laser code, yeah. Yeah. The different C923. So there's been the, the, the talk of the town is everyone's been just praising ECBP, C923, and there are two laser codes, A22 and A23. And people are saying they're not matching up that everyone that got A23, which we did, said it was the best ever. And everyone that got A22 was... Meh. See, that's wild. Did you try the whiskey? I haven't yet. Wildest I'm, thing in the world. I, want, I don't get this at I, all. I want to like a good little smoke on it. You don't even need to. That is, this is why I like these. Because I'm clearly, what I've learned is I'm not good at cigar pairings, personally. All of the maltiness went away on the whiskey. 100% of the oh, maltiness it's all gone. finish. All fruit now. It's sweet, sugary, brighter. Isn't that weird? Even some of the chocolate's gone. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's like a... Um, That's wild. A semi-sweet uh, milk chocolate. That's so weird. This happened with the... the, the I hate when Alec does this. Too. There, was a, there was a note in the Amarana. There was actually a note in the Amarana by itself that I didn't, wasn't in love with in the first one. And yeah. then you smoke the cigar with it, and it literally... Don't say, yeah, the Amberana. It's called Amberana. No. And then you smoke the cigar with it. That's the flavor. And it was freaking... That one note was completely gone, and then it brought out the cool parts. So you got to get about through that much of a gatekeeper. Pepper comes off. So I'd like to see the evolution. Buddy, I don't know how many of these I've fucking smoked in my life. Not as many as Alec. I would bet more than you, though. Buddy. It's Kintsugi's. I guarantee I smoke more. And Gatekeepers. Kintsugi's 100% because I don't smoke those. Because exactly. they're for babies. Kintsugi's are for children just a good and women. fucking cigar. I small, don't know what your problem small is. children I and don't women. know what your problem is Kintsugi's there. Kintsugi's are fine. Dude, Nano Connecticut's are literally better than Kintsugi's, which is wild. Okay. Um, How fucking dare you? But Dan's cigar with coffee has been on point. Dude, it's so good. CJ said, I am child. Fair, actually. Poor CJ. Kintsugi, buddy. Poor. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That? Oh, that thing is drawn tonight. Is 
is it? Yeah. Because he just pulled everything down in Alpine. Yeah. Good temperature so in here. said, give me candy cigarette. Dude, do you remember having those that? as kids? Oh, buddy, I've seen them again. I mean, Holden had them. Yeah, they're like, it's the same gas station that we both got them from. Dude, so the nose still has the chocolate on it? That's so weird. It's so con like. I, I get a little it bit. It's red of all. It of feels like, like a the chocolate maltiness. malt. But on the nose. On the nose. Yeah. And then you drink, and I believe the malt to be there without the cigar. If you just drink the bottle of whiskey by itself. But then when you put them, there's something that the cigar, like, literally layers over all of the malt. Makes it way fruitier, a, more citrus, yeah. sweeter. It's like um, a rounder, like a gentle sweetness, a soft sweetness. It's just wild to me. It's, that it it's, can do that. Uh, that citrus chocolate, like the uh, the orange thing that you fucking smash on Christmas. Yeah, the candy. Yeah, but it, it's but that. it's the sugar from that now. Oh, whereas yeah. before it was like a heavier, crafty. I think the smoke note. gets creamier. Maybe that's what like it, um, yeah. like sure. it adds that element to the whiskey. Like that's something that the whiskey is missing that the the cigar puts adds into to it. it. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. It's like that mouthfeel. Yeah, it's so odd that it works that way. <sighs> This is why these are so much fun is because every time I do them, I just try the whiskey. And then I usually, they've done them with, every time they've done them, so far they've done them with cigars they already have. Yeah. So every time they've done them, I'm like, well, I have an expectation for a gatekeeper Corona. I have an expectation for a black market Esteli. Like uh, these why would things. you do that? But, and I don't even like, here's the crazy part. The last one is the Rebel. I don't like black market Esteli. It's not my favorite cigar. It is not. With the Rebel, I was like, this, I do, I just keep, I, this is a problem. On a golf course, that's a problem. Oh, you and Glenn Gilda. Course, this is a problem. This on a golf course is insane. Oh, yeah. Imagine this great. at a simulator yeah. at James's. Yeah. We're blowing through gatekeepers, yeah. and we're blowing through that bottle. Yes, we it's are. fucking wild, yeah. dude. We need to get Jane some ventilation in there. Oh, we should do that. I forgot about that. Because he wouldn't, he'd be cool with that. Yeah. Klein lit up a cigar at John's in the sealed pole barn. John, say this again. John was like, hey, man, um, I mean, you're going to have to at least open a window or a door. Good on John. And then Klein went. It shocks me John doesn't have uh, ventilation. I that. don't know that he's a cigar guy. I don't know that he. I'm clicking through. He may be like kind of, not like Klein is. Klein's a cigar guy. You know I've definitely I mean? seen him smoke a cigar okay. at John, or, uh, at uh, Klein's Klein place. offered him one. He didn't take it. Yeah. That night. Mind you, we're in his pole barn. Yeah. It's all metal, so nothing's yeah. gonna sink into anything. There's a screen, but other yeah. than that, anyways. So how many cloud lines do we gotta sell to get another one of those for James's place? We could just offer to chip in and buy him one since he paid for everything else so far. Yeah, we could do that. We could. They aren't that expensive. <laughs> how much was that one? Not Three? that much. Three hundred. I don't even remember. I literally don't remember. We did huh. it so long ago. Yeah, it was. It's really a year long ago. ago. And before that, we did the other one out there. Clubland's been great. Yeah, they have been. If you guys need any inline ventilation for like a cigar room or anything, check out Clubline. Tell them we sent you. Um, I mean, I just gave our old one to my stepdad. Yeah. Because he was like, man, I really want to smoke cigars out into the, they have a, a heated section of their garage. And then he has a whole wood shop in the other section. He's like, I just want to sit down and smoke a cigar. I go, I got something for you because it's in the hut. We're not using it. It's yeah. a six-inch yeah, inline in vent fan. And nobody's using it. And I go, dude, it's going to be perfect for yeah. that. I was like, you throw it up there, rip that baby out. I was like, well, it'll run for you. So I'm going to go over there and uh, hook it up for him. Um, damn. It's so weird. You know See what it, right there. That's you know where a gatekeeper gets good. It adds chocolate into the cigar. That's what it does. Yeah. You said it makes the smoke creamy. Mm -hmm. Actually, also, that retro, like, there was a little bit of smoke or a little bit of chocolate. And it's so weird. It's so odd. Thanks, Maury. He said the Irish pick is ridiculous. Pleasantly surprised. I hope everyone that you shared it with loves it. Um, I do believe it is more of a Irishy bourbon. More so than a, a I mean, it is very bourbon. For bourbon -y. all intensive flavor bud, flavor bud. 
Yeah, flavor buds. I'm going to flavor. I'm done with taste buds. Hey, guys. I want everybody to know I'm done with taste buds. Uh, you're going to flavor buds? We're going to flavor buds. It's not flavor town. We're going to flavor buds. It's, yeah, burrish. <laughs> um, yeah, it is definitely very bourbon. That's bourbon. Uh, it t- like, but it has that backbone of it. That's bourbon. It would remind me of what thirteen or I'm sorry, um, or New Holland yeah. is putting out. Yeah, it it feels like an Irish style. Yeah, that is bourbon heavy. Yeah, same deal. But that is an Irish whiskey finished in uh, new oak barrels. It feels like pot stilled bourbon. Yeah. From New Holland. It's, it's, I don't want anybody, this is the problem. Can't get it twisted. I don't want anybody to say it's Irish because Irish is fine. Dan hates Irish. It's not good. That pick is, deserves better is the problem. How if, dare you? If all Irish whiskey was aged in new bourbon barrels, yeah. Irish whiskey would be as good as bourbon. Uh, it's quite like not. Blue Spot. It's not. It is like Blue Spot. And what's the best range? What's the best spot you've ever had? Um, Blue. The so, no, no, it yeah, isn't. It is. Um, Aaron Atkins sent me a crazy, like triple finished green spot. Mm-hmm. <sighs> he just sent me a um, a new yellow spot coming to market. Got to be wild. I have red spot. I've had red spot, Chrissy. I don't think red spot's it. Red honestly. spot's fine. I think the the finished green spots, the ultra aged green spots that are a lot finished, and um, Tommy said purple spot, blue spot. This purple probably spot my favorite thing. No, blue spot's the best one, and you want to know why? Bourbon. A quail said quail skate. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I like, sent that to him. Not it's just not. Available. Oh, and yeah. The new, expensive. the new gold spot's going to be expensive. You know what looks cool? So I think it's cash strength at like 57% or something. That's 58. cool. I like that idea. Um, I think it's double finished. Oh. Yeah. I think it's double or triple finished. I can't quite remember. Um, I told Aaron, I go, cash strength 13 year. I go, hey, man. Damn. Sounds great. I said, sounds expensive, though. He oh. goes, yeah, I'm going to pay some stuff off and. Gotta get one. Jeez. Yeah. It's like that it's, though. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Tommy said fifty blue, fifty yeah, red. Yeah, twenty three year. Twenty three. Paul said thirteen. Oh, the new yellow spot. It, oh, it's it like six hundred bucks. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't twenty three. If you pay six hundred dollars for Irish whiskey, right. you're a crazy person. You pay six. What the? Is that six hundred? That's three hundred. If you pay six hundred dollars for mediocre, no, it's more than that. Ireland more than whiskey, that. Irish proper twelve. Okay, let's not throw the bottom of the barrel at things and call that the market share. How dare you? That's like, hey, uh, fucking, I don't know. Uh, what's that bullshit we used to talk about from the the tribe for Scotch? Monkey shoulder. Yeah, and say that's all a scotch. And the other it's end not. is fucking black arts. Sure. 25 or 500 are wildly different price points. If scotch yeah. was as limited in flavor as Irish whiskey is. It's not. Right. Irish can do the same thing that scotch can do. But they don't. So. But they do. Scotch is better than Irish. We all agree. Everybody on the planet agrees with that. Everyone. I don't think anybody thinks Irish whiskey is better than Scotch whiskey. There are people. People in Ireland barely agree with that, and they have to. It's like people in Texas. They all say their shit's good, and we all know it's, some of it's fine. Where's that fucking Octomore at? Back there. I'm opening it. Probably you didn't even flinch. flinch did you? I don't give a, I was, I don't, that's going to get old. I don't give a shit if it's open now or later. I kind of want to open it. I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna do a, a few more back and forth. I just want to try this. I'm so intrigued. This is a lower PPM for Octomore. One twenty something. Yeah, a lot of them are like two hundred. I don't think it matters, right? What is it? What when can you not eighty? Yeah, doesn't matter, does it? No, I think it's lower than that. I, I, th- uh, I thought someone was... tell me what's the PPM of um, your tongue can detect. Yeah. your flavor buds can detect. So this is. 128.9 ppm. Nick Schuster. Heavily peated. What is the the max of peat? I thought it was like... 
I want to say 80, but that might be too high. That even proves the point more, though. Yeah. That you're you're not, to some extent, somewhere, it doesn't matter. They're That's heavily peated. 14-1. Um, Irish said, is fantastic. Nothing Irish holds a candle to the Crown Apple 23-year. Cheers, Nick. You're the real <sighs> goat here. I mean, Bantam. Jameson shots at a bar will outperform any scotch. That's true. I just, yeah. Jameson versus, was it Johnny Red then? It's not even close. It's not. It's You're, not. Jameson is it. In that scenario, Jameson's it. Oh, man. Alec said, whoever grabs this pairing, I hope you enjoy it. We had a lot of fun doing the pairing and picking the barrel. So, again, pin link at the top. If you want one of these. Nine, Jesus very Christ. unique experience. If this fucking... Yeah, you got to take that off and... Um, Loosen the, the spring yep, on it. I do. 100%. I have to do that. Um, this year's Cowboy Boots. You know what? I've heard that, Daniel. Take a bet. Dan doesn't change it in the next week. You will not be here next week. Mm. You will not. There's no way. Tuesday is our due date. There's no way you're here. Next yeah. Week. Um, uh, who should we have on for guests? You guys can pick. You got to have Matt on, I think. I think it'd be fun, honestly, if you had Jared on. Matt will be on. I've asked Jared. Jared, I think, would be a good guest. I've men- I, sh- I shouldn't say I've asked Jared. I've mentioned to Jared that you should come on a live stream um, and hang. You should do a multi-stream one and have, like, the the turds on. Adam said Grease. I think, like, if you, you did, like, a YouTube? family one, we do, like, what we did on the like time. Just like hang our, out with people. Our group? Yeah. Okay. Just hang out with people. I think that's a cool, cool stream. Kerber people would hang with Klein. That. Luke said Jeremy. I'd love to. Oh, catch you can up get Klein in for sure. Klein would sit down, talk shit. You could do a blind or whatever. Klein have, would be easy. Have if he's not traveling. Ricky pour four or five things or yeah. whatever. Do a blind. Uh, play a game with yeah. it. He'd smoke a cigar. Yeah. Um, Matt, if you can get him in. Klein's always an easy hang. Yes. I love it, dude. Because now with with you age- can catch up with Jeremy for me. I haven't caught up with Jeremy in so long. Dude. That man feels uh, ethereal. What is, like uh, in what way? Um, in the amount, in the in- like the getting a hold of him type thing. Oh, I just sitting down for a while. Him, dude. I, I don't, don't think I have either. I feel bad. Pillow Sean. I mean, he's both uh, work both ways. Everybody's doing shit. That is hundred percent fair. I think that all the time. Darren Bill. I feel guilty a lot of time. I'm like, oh, I haven't talked with who specifically. Jeremiah. Yeah. I don't ever feel guilty. I don't think he does. I do a little bit. Every now and I then. think that Jeremy is that a, I even reached out to talk to him. Jeremy is a person that I will love for the rest of my life, whether I talk to him or not. It's just like Dan and Julie for me. There are times where I go, literally I'll go a month That's good. without talking to Dan and Julie, and I know the next time I talk to Dan, right it'll, back it'll at it. pick it up. Immediately. I think that's a guy thing. It's not even a catch-up. I think that is a guy thing. Just like thing. a hey, buddy. 100%. It's just we're back. There are well, people in the it's community. it's a guy thing, but it's also, it's also like a... There's like a you got you get to a certain level. Yeah. Right? You get to a certain level where you're like, I'm comfortable we're in friends, our friendship. We're good. We're friends. Yeah. Everything's good. I don't need a you daily check in. I know you exist. Right, I exactly. know yeah. you know I exist. Yeah. And when we catch up, yeah. we're gonna pick up the exact same tail end of the conversation we had. We'll talk about what's going on yeah. and we're gonna have a great time. Hundred percent. Jeremy is that guy every time. I will love Jeremy made me seventeen coffees one time to get it right. Yeah. And for that I'll love him. He made ribs he said weren't good. Ate the shit out of them. Loved them. On which grill of his 17? He didn't have 17. Then. Did he, he put it on three. four different he had ones? three. Then. Man. He was so upset, too. He was so bummed, dude. You should try to get uh, Sam and Bobby on. You know what? I do need to have Klein on so we can go over the controversy of the golf tournament. That's That'd be a good one. Because he's fired up. You get Sam and Bobby on. Sam and Bobby? Yeah. They aren't coming back, dude. Get them on. They're not coming It'd back. It'd be funny. Sam and Bobby are not coming back. I think I've talked to Bobby more recently than I've talked to Jeremy. Really? Yeah, I think so. How's Bobby? Last time I talked to him, he was good. I love that man. Yeah, me too. I fucking love that man. Those two are also family people. Yeah. Like part of the fam. Yo, million percent. Forever. Um, they are salt of the earth people. Can Cyrus be shirtless just trying to bump your female views, says Chrissy. I, do you think that Cyrus is in great shape, Chrissy? I don't know. No, what I think the, he's in good shape. Is he? Yeah. Is that a recent thing? And I think, yeah, I think he is. Very recent? Uh, last couple of videos, he looks pretty good. Really? Yeah. Okay. 
He's always had arms. Last time I talked to him, he goes, I'm fat as fuck. That's what, what? he said. Okay. But if I say I'm fat as fuck. That means you got a tummy. Yeah. You don't want to take your shirt off. You got a tummy. Jeremy's also 5'7", dude. No, he's not. Oh, you think Jeremy's tall. Buddy, the first time I met I Jeremy. I think he's shorter than me, but I didn't think he's 5'7". He's very much shorter than you. You put people on blast right About now. About the height of Ricky, 5'8". Very close to Ricky's height. Very close. I won't really? say shorter than Ricky. Very close to Ricky's height, though. You should get... Uh, he's just a bad motherfucker. Hear me out. You do a stream. Go sure. grab a bunch of barrel samples, right? You and Klein, just do some blending. You can do that. I, I love the idea. The problem with blending it's is... It's boring. It's not... Well, we could do it while we talk. Klein yeah. and I aren't short on talking. Yeah. It's not... That's not either of our problems. The problem becomes... The blends... You get Rob Worsner on, need, and we see who's taller. I'm talking about short people. He's shorter than Jeremy. Where's Rob? What is it not? Short? Rob's 5'6". In boots. <sighs> He's just not. He's just not. <laughs> Alec, I'm, you're either the same height or taller than Jeremy. Without a doubt. The best part is no Alec needs. Bradley? Alec Rubin, yes. <laughs> I did what you did. Oh, my God. I've Alec, become you. Alec, can I tell you what the good news is? We'll always be friends. My dude, brain's no not working what. anymore. Um, <laughs> Alec has got to be 5'9", I bet. Do some honey barrel shit. I'm going to end up bottling. 5'10". There you Sean's go. blend while he's away. Wait, what? Yeah, you have to bottle that. Yeah, that thing's batted up. It's ready to go. Daddy's ready. Oh, yeah. buddy, I've been drinking the, the fuck out of it. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Really. There is a hundred dollars. I do. I do sample it every once in a blue. Yeah, just a little nip. I don't think it's changing. Where it's at. It. Uh, the last two have been, if not identical. Spoiler pretty alert. Pretty much. Identical. I don't know if you know this. I gave Matt and Chrissy a bottle. Yeah, I did know that. You told okay. me that. Yeah, yeah. they yeah, gave yeah. me a baby gift. Yeah, you told me the day of, mm-hmm. and I was like, no. You said you snagged one out of the tank. I did. Yeah. Chrissy did they missed like me. It? Did they shit on it? Well, I don't know. Chrissy missed Chrissy's me. He goes, thoughts? what the fuck is in my car? I go, I gave you guys a gift. Because you guys gave me a gift. We no. don't have labels. <laughs> no, I didn't give it. I, it's a, a completely unlabeled bottle. And I was like, ah, just take it. Travis, yeah. we got a trade, dude. Hey, the fucking, we, I went and picked up all the shit today. I didn't Sean sell it and I to opened him. all the boxes. Cool as fuck. It, I didn't sell it to him. Legal. I think it's less legal if, when you give it to people and say you gave it to them. It is uh, market research. I wanted their opinion on the bottle, and I figured they would take a fifth for them to tell me whether they liked it or didn't like it. So, uh, they're in my test panel. Legal. Chrissy, how... Well, this will backfire. Chrissy, how is it? <laughs> Imagine. It's so sweet. It ah, is very sweet. It's very honey. It's what Sean wanted. It's it is very exactly sweet. what I wanted. No label. I came home with seven bottles. Market research said Chrissy. They, they bought multiple they bottles. Bought a lot. They they bought multiple they bought bottles. That one was non-labeled um, because we don't have the label for it, honestly. Um, but I wanted them to have it. That feels like moonshining. Why? No, no, no. Not like legally. From the aspect of like coming home with a fucking unlabeled. Mm. You're mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. I got that shit. That's what it feels like. Yeah. Travis said, Dan, on the honey, just reach out to me. I'd give you a back rub to go with it. B. Bauer said, I'm five foot 16. <laughs> Chris, okay, dude. Hold on. Chrissy said, it's amazing, not bullshitting for women's shirts. Because every time I see Chrissy. Oh, yeah. She's always like, hey, you guys She goes, when are you going to do women's shirts? And yeah. I go, Chrissy, the last time I, I fucking set up women's shirts, we lost money. That's how it went last yeah. time. Yeah. It's nobody's fault. We have four of you. And we appreciate your support. All four of you seemingly bought shirts last time. Zach Jones said, Miami, five for four. He goes, Michigan, six for three. Hey, Zach. I want you to know that those new New Balances you bought are fucking hideous. Uh, she's good, Tommy. I haven't heard anything because I keep looking at my phone. Oh, I have, I have a message. And there it is. Let me, let me check it. I have to do litter boxes when I get home. All right, cool. Ugh. Yeah. You only got one. I got three. Three? You have two. I got three litter boxes. It's N plus Oh, I thought you meant three cats. I was like, where the no, no, fuck no. the third one come N from? N plus one. You're supposed to have three or one more litter box than the cats. So I'm supposed to have two? You're supposed to. Why? Uh, I don't think it matters for so much one for one. Cat, probably, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. He don't care so much. Yeah, that makes sense. But uh, a, we have we have three. Thing? Yeah, we have three for the cats. You got that hide and go seek champ at your house. Yeah. <laughs> 
She came out the other day. She got that fucking champ champ. She just, she snuggled. She loves being pet. Hates people, though. It's a real conundrum for that cat. Was she abused? She, um, Debbie had her at, like, a year old. Man. As a stray, basically. Hey. She adopted her. You want to hear what was kind of a cool thing that happened the other day? Yeah, I'd love Walking to. Walking downtown. Every day. You, you kind of, I mean, listen, this, I'm going to give you just a preface. Okay. The story starts sad, ends happy. That's good. Okay. I like that. Walking down Main Street the other day with the kiddos, Ricky, right? Woman outside with a dog, German Shepherd, yep. pure. Looks like a pure German Shepherd. Big boy. Small, though. No, no, no. Very small. Very small. Walk over, and Luna's like, Luna and Holden, obviously, all kids want to pet the animals. That's just how it works, right? Always. So, uh, and we've, we've, I almost said we trained them. Can't we pet taught, that dog. We taught, yeah. Can't pet that dog. Dude, Open that, that is one me. of the greatest fucking, that is the greatest short I've ever seen. In my I, life is that girl, that little girl. All right, all right, all right. I, I'm going to come back to that. <laughs> With the gator. Dude, holy Oh, no, it was a bear. A bear. Sorry, it was, it was a, a bear. bear. You're yeah. right. No, 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 no. <laughs> Anyways, she walks, we're walking downtown, and Luna's like, can't pet the dog? And so we're like, we can go ask the woman. It's yeah. on a, It's on like a harness and whatever, or uh, whatever. You know, the chest thing, so not yanking on their necks and shit. So a Hardest? Um... We walk over, and the lady goes, yep, of course. And she's like, I'm trying to socialize him. And then I look, and I'm like, oh, he's very skinny. Like, yeah. so Knox was skinny for a while. Melma, yeah. This dog's too skinny. Oh, okay. Right? You can see his hips. Oh. Not his ribs, his hips. You can mm. see his ribs, but you can see his hips. And like almost emaciated? Clearly had been starving. That's not good. And so she goes, um, I found him. So we asked oh, her about the dog. Yeah. She goes, I found him on Craigslist. This woman had dogs, and she just was letting them starve. I'm like, what the fuck? She's like, yeah, she wasn't, they just weren't feeding them. And I'm like, what the fuck? So she's like, I couldn't. He would, this was the only dog that was there. The Humane Society and some other people had taken him. She goes, so I went, and there was a dog there left. That yeah. I, they must have missed somehow. So she was like, I could not leave the house you could just without the dog. Unleash him and let him roam, yeah. and they'd be better. Right. Yeah, yeah, they'll just figure the food situation yeah. out, probably. So she's like, so I took him. The She's been feeding him. He's doing great. He's walking around. He's like, you want to talk about a cool-ass German Shepherd? Yeah. Cool as fuck. Very young. She said he was a puppy. Mm. So he was way smaller than Knox. I would assume even eating correctly. He yeah. was significantly smaller than Knox. Dude, the nicest dog, sat there, snuggled, petted him, happy as fuck. She's like, he's been doing great. He's on his way back. He's gaining weight, all Feels of this. Good. So I'm like, she saved this fucking dog's life. Yeah. So I looked at Ellie. I was like, you're a good fucking person. Yeah. Immediately. I already know. You, she seemed a little, yeah. maybe a little weird. Yeah. Good person. Good person. You've passed on that she with the weird. She wasn't a people person. Yeah. She was an animal person. I'm good with you that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know what the dog needed? An animal, an animal person. person. Yep. Yeah. That woman's alone. She has the dog now. They're going to love each other for the rest of their lives. That's great. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah. Dog was so fucking cool. Ricky's like, see, we should get a German Shepherd. And I go, you need to realize really quickly that's not a normal German Shepherd. We can just meet Knox. 100 plus. Want. 100 plus. We can just meet Knox. Knox is half Malinois, though. And so German Shepherds got- are cool as fuck. Problem for normal people. So he got more energy from the Malinois side. Did he? Yeah. Malinois are working dogs. They, uh, they're the ones that are crazy, crazy. Oh, in I energy. didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So Malinois are like normally like the police dogs. Sure. They are smaller. Oh. More bitey. And uh, <laughs> great dogs, though. Him being half and half, we got all the allergies. It's great. Um, yeah, you guys have a lot of fucking problems. A lot of bill, vet bills. He's on a he's on a new the medication new now. Doing well, very well. Gosh, dude. Apoquel. Beach and bourbon. Any advice for a new guy starting a bourbon channel? Twentieth super um, on this live stream. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Be good audio goes a long, long way. Just be consistent. People like audio more than video. Just upgrade your shit when it's bad. Yeah. Over time. In Just reinvest back it. in. Keep a consistent upload schedule. And um, always be yourself. Try hard as fuck. Okay. Be willing to die for it. When you open that, please. What? Well, I don't care. If you open it, I don't, I don't like it. I hate it. You know this. I don't care for me at all. I know, but I still it's not hate a it. Rando, it's me. But I still hate it. 
Like I want you to open it because I don't ever want to feel like the guy that shows up and just opens I someone's bottle. I almost put this on a channel card today, and I thought we're never going to review this ever. <laughs> Could have. That's what I thought. I know, but I think we've done an Octomar video, and I think fourteen people watched it. Yeah, we that had, went through my head today. We have, and I'm like, oh, dude, we could do it. No, nobody gives a fuck. No I had no does. fingernails. You got a fingernail? Got a knife. I mean, two, but I didn't want to get it out. There's a tear though. You just gotta pick it up. Like, all you gotta do is like get that little bit. So oh, I broke the tip. I. This is made me a little sad. This is Brian Jackson's knife. Yep. The old BJ first custom time, first. Fucking bench made. Bench first time we ever went to, when the first time, the only time we went to Barrel King and we bottled our stuff. First time ever. That's the knife I brought with me. I think I did too. I'm really excited be good, for that. Dude. Oh shit! It smells good. You want more Scotch videos, man, dude? Okay. Can I tell you the problem? The, like, I just love buying Scotch. That is a Huge vocal problem. minority of yes. people that love watching Scotch content, and then the people that watch Scotch content. Can I tell you the problem? Four. Seemingly. Uh, now, Daniel and Rex would be an exception to what I'm about to say. Now, yeah. They did, well, they're they're I kind mean, of in the midst of the thing. but The thing? Splitting up. You mean the divorce? Yeah, kind of. It feels that way, done though. I think. Like mom and dad. It sounds like they might be They're mom and dad. They might be still dabbling. Sounds I hope like so. That. Honestly. Um, Their but, dynamic was, I mean, it feels like us. Mm -hmm. Um. We're both Daniel and we're both Rex. Yeah, you're Daniel you're, and I'm Rex. You, you definitely have more Rex you're in you. You're a cranky old man. Yeah, that's fair. I'm chaos. I give you chaos. that. We both, we'll, we'll swap every now and then. That's fair. Um, you made but seven it, dick jokes tonight. Yeah. Early. It, you think only seven? Um, that's fair. I said pipe once. It's just so. Yeah. Okay. It's not a divorce. Ooh. It's an open relationship. That's fair. Yeah. But it's like, We've seen it for eight months that Dan has stepped away. Well, Brian, Brian has come in. They're smart. Right? Become, yeah, they've done it very right, well, the transition-wise. <sighs> Still hurts a little bit. Still hurts just like a little bit. I, I do love that. Everyone loves that, buddy. It's Octomore. There just can't be something wrong with it. Huh? This is, you know what the fucking thing is? 220 bucks, and you're like, it's still going to be great. doesn't even matter. You know what this is better than? The last art bag committee that I paid two hundred for. You oh, really? I mean? Oh, by a fucking mile. Is that the supernova? Nope. What was the last? Committee? I don't know the name of it. It's on the shelf down there. Um, I have. A... Oh shit! Because there was two of them. Remember, one was committee and one was not. What was it? Oh, that's two ago. Now. Two ago. They're doing committees. How many like committees they do? Well, more than I should be buying. I thought it was two a year. This is the problem, guys. Wait, 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 whoa. Anthology. Heart yep, there you go. Heartbreak. I thought it was two a year that they're doing community. Doesn't seem that way right now. Doesn't feel that way. What? Yeah. They're all such cool labels, too. They are. I, I, uh, what does it feel like? If... Nope, I'm not even going to say it. We did, uh, maybe on a live stream, we did an Oxymore blind once. Because you and I compared 7, 8, 9, and 10 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I think 7 won by quite a bit. A lot, a lot. Um, no, 8 did because that was the master class. Okay. 8 oh, was the okay. master class series. 8 won um, So I think but that was we, 8. We did a blind of Oxymore, and I know that we didn't do it in quiet because we wouldn't have. We would have just um, drank them. I actually talked to Dan about that tonight, the $500 bottle. I might wait for a birthday bourbon this year. Why did um, Zach rock tater shit? I don't know. View. You have the the meals. It was a question you just read. Oh, he said, uh, what did I, what did I decide what, in my $500, $500 bottle? bottle. Buy, yeah. Zach just rocked <laughs> his shit, dude. He said, oops, sorry, Ted. Zach. You know what, Zach? No, don't take it. Yeah, dude. You know what, Zach? That's for your New Balances and Rock and Tater for My no reason. Are free on this. I did nothing, yeah, Zach. He says that. He's an illusionist. Um, I would love to get a birthday bourbon for my son this year. Want to bet Advent on it? Give you a reason to try to win? No. <laughs> I, I, like, not that I feel I'll lose. I just, That's like. That's not a confident thing, though, dude. But, like, what do I get if I win Advent, then? A birthday bourbon for your kid. 
but I don't have five hundred dollars to spend. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Like I already won that. Yes. Like you lost, yeah, yeah, yeah. so oh, I already wow. I already okay. have that. So like if I was gonna bet five hundred dollars, like right. you can't bet zero. You can't bet thing. zero against my five hundred. No, I didn't mean bet your five hundred. I meant yeah. buy whatever you want with your five hundred. Um, you want to bet that birthday bourbon? Oh, so you want me to win? You're gonna need a reason. Wait, to wait, win wait. This year. Hear me out. Hear me out. You want me to win something? You're again. gonna need a reason to win. A- again, I um, I win again. something. Don't say again, dude. And uh, you want when me you to again. then take the thing that I won That's and then crazy. bet against something that you lost. So you have zero in on it. If you say again, no, dude. But I won again. The problem. So is... it was like I won back to back to back. It was just a lot of fun. Um, oh, I thought you meant Advents. I almost actually lost my shit. Oh no no no! I could have won last year. No, you couldn't. No no. All I had to do was do really well. Put the exact same bottle down that you did, and we both knew it was. It was from Bove. I could have won this year. Used absolute proof. There's always an oh, I could have. No, 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 no. You would have actually like change your answer. I pouted. I gave you know, up because I thought you had already won. You know what I would last have to year, do this year or two years ago? Take the 16 points into consideration on the total. I would have won too. That's an eight point swing. Uh, yep. Real That's talk. Wild. What would you have guessed? That's what, the first time that hit what me. What would you have guessed? Though? I would have truly just added t- probably 12. You would have lost. 101 was the absolute answer. Oh, okay. So I, you're still good. I guessed 101. Okay. 101 was okay. the, ab- I guessed the so answer get, on you that. You get the total points either yeah. way. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. And with then that. I won. I'm okay with that. Total proof. All right. Whoa. That? I, I said, hey, I, I won total proof. On the fact that we win not absolute proof, it was what total proof was through Jesus, take the 24 wheel. samples. Jesus, take the fucking wheel. That's what it was. It was. We said what would be the total this proof. Is, out of Advent, truly, nobody knows it. Yeah. Few people know this. Out of Advent, truly, the only thing that bothered me. It's really good. It's very good. Yeah. Only thing that bothered me was the proof thing. Yeah. Nothing else bothered me at all. So, if you truly Luke, just Luke can change it next year. Um, that it would be we go to proof as a total deviation off of the total proof, mm-hmm. not what would the total proof be? Right. Which makes yeah. In it does just make sense that we would do that. Yeah. I'm not saying for that you. we should like no. For so skill, I get time for skills. You sake. get proof for skills. But one of those is an ability. The other one's just bullshit because I talk like a fucking moron every year. Right. Uh, ability. It's not an ability. <laughs> You're not faster because you're better. You're faster because you don't talk. And I'm an idiot. Like, it's just different things. The thing, if, we, if this was a skill-based competition, yeah, in theory, it'd just be a, whoever's doing better on proof, like, truly better. Yeah. Um, it would be whoever does better on finish. And, it'd like, type in these things, right? I think that's fair to say. Whoever's closer on proof consistently. And then you did really well on, I think, types or finishes, one of the two. Both. Better than me yeah. on one of them. We, t- like, damn near tied on one of them, truly. I think that was type. I think we basically tied Oh, on yeah, type. type was pretty Type's easy this year. kind of easy. Um, I think age I beat your... Over-unders? Like, guesses on? Okay. Yeah, over-under, yeah. I think I had more over-unders, right? I think like, two. But that I, one you definitely close. had more proofs than I did. Way more. Doubled. And I lost the proof thing. It's not quite the only thing that fucking drives me crazy um, is the proof thing. I did not do well. And, and realistically, I lost like we shot seven videos the first day. Yeah. And then I ended the entire series that same Delta. I of kept seven proof days. Up. I kept proof the whole time. I did proof well the whole time. <sighs> I didn't know. Now, there was one day where I truly wrote the wrong. I was talking and wrote the wrong answer. Yeah. It's a one point swing. It I, doesn't um, make a difference. I've just given up on thinking about proof is what it was. I just didn't give a shit about proof in any way, shape, or form. It was the sure. drink for me. Sure. Because we stopped doing... And you won proof. To, That's interesting. Well, by 0.7. Yeah. You suck. Be better. Scrub. Did the boys just learn about absolute value? Do better. In 24 days... But he added... My... So much math. My average proof off every day for 24 days was four. Cool. Man, that's wild. That's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good, honestly. My average off is like nine. Yeah, eight or nine. Yeah. Just double whatever mine was. Yeah. Cool. Whew. Not Man. that bad. Honestly, eight or nine's not bad. Not that bad. Really not. When you average it out. It's really not. Some days, real bad. It's not that bad. It's significantly worse than mine. I had three bad. really bad days. Good news is they all 
cancel each other out Wait. out of luck. Which is wild, truly. Honestly, it's, coincidentally, um, that is the first time that's wild. ever come to play, though. Did I just learn how to math? No, we've no, we've had probably the, a, a very similar conversation to this seventeen times now. Uh we had it sixteen I don't mind, times in one day. I don't mind losing Advent as a whole. Like if Sean had just clean beat me, just the fucking, it's thirty to fucking twenty four at the end of Advent. Like yeah. I wasn't mad. I lost blind boxes at all. Yeah, it just is what it is. You know what I mean? That's fair. The fucking when Luke. And when they explained to me that I had lost overall proof, and I'm like, what? That? Law of averages, baby. <laughs> just I'm... fucking insane. Law of averages, but lucky. Like, fucking, in, like, that felt like a... I'm not disagreeing on that. We, I know you're not. And that's why I, I don't disagree that I lost this year. Because these were the rules. We can't. We did the whole thing. We can't. Yeah. We did what we did. Good news we is, agreed uh, next year, Luke's will probably be more thought out. Yeah, like... This is the thing, Matt. Matt. Matt Madison theory is really well thought out. Like often we do, we play other people's games who are well he thought out. He puts a often. heavy bias on proof. That's I feel it. like it's probably the hardest fucking thing, other um, than bottle. To yeah. like get really, really fucking in there. Like yeah. you're one off. I agree. You, you know what I mean. I do agree that uh, proof is the heaviest, like the biggest skill factor, maybe, or the highest ceiling, maybe. I don't know what the correct wording would be. I don't even want to say skill. I want to say like feel. Feel. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are months I beat your ass on yeah, poor, poor guesses, guesses that it's mm-hmm. like I've never like not been outside of that. Sure. Like, and then yeah, all I've of a sudden like just lose it. Yeah. Just fucking lose it. Advent mm, didn't have it. Did not have any feel for proof this year. No, bad. Yeah. We lost points. Yeah. Several three. Days. Three. Three points. Luke said, I have no two fear. years of data to adjust rules and run simulations on what is weighted towards what and make it as even as possible. That's fucking wild. That's wild. I can't wait. You to can run it freeze. more as columns, too. Like, whoever won more proofs gets points. Whoever won more oh, instead of over-unders, total one point. Or something. Whoever won more mm-hmm. uh, yeah. anything. Whatever, types, yeah. ages. Yeah. We yeah. did really well this year, though. We, did, uh, we no. actually, I truly do. I was out of proof. You did well in proof. I think everything else we did pretty well. I in. think we both did better than we initially both thought we would do because we haven't Stopping been doing poor guesses, guesses. Yeah. for a year. Yeah, I would, Luke. I'll take this into consideration. I would. Didn't reject. I would like to re-add a one-minute bottle guess segment. I Not I would two. too. We one talked about minute. that. One. That's what we did. Okay. It was, it was one, one minute, one and minute. we had a sheet. I like but that. But a, a several one minute, Don't care if we no, do the no time. Or I'm sorry. Not part of no, the two Yeah, minutes. not part of the, the, three av- the overall total, time. Yeah. One minute is It was bottle. drink it. Actually think about what bottle we thought it was. I think we could have had one or two bottles in there guessed. Hopefully, I mean, in, you'd hope so. It was I bad we, this year. I guarantee we could have had one or two bottles guessed if we just didn't have it as part of time. That's fair. Sean Robinson, ten dollars super chat. Thank you, buddy. Sean claiming the proof win is the most ridiculous thing this channel has done, and this channel ha- does ridiculous well. That's fair, Sean. I'd agree with you. Apparently, so with the comments on hey, the fucking finale, uh, fellow Sean. What the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, that's true. She spelled different. Hey, traitor. Hear me out. You spell it. I appreciate wrong. you. And secondly, um, them was the breaks, man. That was that was the rules we agreed upon. Day one. Yeah. It's how we did it. We did agree on um, all the fucking... Listen, we I agreed, don't agree that we in any way, shape, or form that I did better uh, than Dan on proof. I was very lucky that my highs levered all my lows. Uh, Dan did cheat, throw me an extra glutton glass, help me out, because I probably went low. <laughs> probably, actually. Got. And it probably averaged out a high That's guess. That's hilarious. It probably did. Um, Shit. It's it just how it worked out. Also, next year, there will be no calculating in the midst of Advent. That's fair. Time proof, any of them. Just yeah. so we can't, we are both blind to what each other are at. Okay. Truly. The issue is that we both knew everything and then relayed it to Luke. Yes. And then there was gray area. Yeah, there's a lot of gray area this year. Yeah. It's bad. That was bad this year. Uh, we did a it, bad job. A couple that we took points. It we was did like, a bad job. But it was ones that we knew we're washing were over under. Yeah. 
No, 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 not washing over unders because like we both said over or whatever. That's washing. I would still win though on like total points. I know. I just it was just created inconsistency. It didn't matter who it was for. But it was an, a non agitated bottle that we yes. knew was over, and we'd say, all right, it'd be a wash anyways. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's problematic for consistency sake, for scoring sake for Luke. That's not great. It's only a problem till the end. Right. Yeah. Which in theory matters the most. Does it? Next year we're doing like fucking twelve days or some shit. Fuck. I don't know. We're doing twenty four. <laughs> have you guys sampled the extras you got? We're gonna do that on a live stream. Uh, I think we still have three left over there. Honestly, Ryder, I agree with Dan. He did a bad job. Do better. I don't yeah. know if that was for me or you. I don't know either. It might have been for both of us. He we did, did a, a bad, bad job, job on bottle guesses this year. Um, That's true. Because we didn't give ourselves that extra minute. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the theory is right. I just don't. I, we just overall. Look at it this with way. With the theory. Still we had did 24 samples. And I think Dan was high on time at like, we'll, we'll say 18 minutes. How about that? Um, 18 minutes on 24 samples of even just say it was bourbon. Yeah. Just bourbon. Sure. Any bottle in bourbon that Period. has an agedament doesn't have to. And there were a couple that didn't. Yep. Um, impossible. Didn't have to have an age statement. Fucking aim. impossible. Could have been any bourbon, period. Impossible. Sean won by less than a point. You win by five, four, five. Uh, After the total, it was four or five. Yeah. An eight-point swing would have gave it to you. Yeah, that? any of the total yeah. point things, any of those would remove four from Sean, give four to me. Yeah, so it wouldn't, that would have been gone the, to Dan. Yeah. That would have been be the thing. 20, 24 pours in the park. Maybe. We'll see. Sean won the Thanks proof total by what? 0.7. That's what you're thinking, Tommy. Yep. 0.7. So not one. Not a full proof point. Yes, 0.7. Which is actually proof. wild. That's actually wild. Eight bottles, right? Not eight shades. Eight bottles. The yeah. problem is, is like when something's like, an old Carter, it's older than seven. We know this. I lost points on this is a true. couple of these, too. When um, Lost points on two of them. Something, you know, is a Penelope. Oh, you, you, know got, you got a point, and I didn't get a point on one of them. Which one? Old Carter. We know you, it's older than seven. You got one mm-hmm. that was, it's finished because they bear Cranford. Oh, and you didn't get the Nashville one. Because it was. And you didn't get the Nashville on the, yep. the sheet said double-barreled, yep. which Old Carter does not say that, but it is double-barreled. Yep. And the other one was Nashville. Yep. Or, which we also believe is double-barreled. Yeah. But we don't know them, but and we and don't we know don't it's double-barreled. Peop- yeah, we don't know the guys that own Nashville. So, there's another one for me. Eight models were... Well, yeah, I mean, you'd have to get to nine... Um, we'll probably do a video on the C923 stuff. Um, Luke has a bottle of A22, and our bottle Laser is A23. A22, yeah. I'd want, love to try them next to each other. I went to a place today to that, look for it that had C922, C921, B523, B522. No C923. Of course. The liquor deli, where you can't see all the liquor on the wall. Zach is just rocking people again. Zach, I gave your shit back, and this is what we're doing. What's happening? Tommy's never around, and you're going to time. Wrecked. I don't like, oh, he said I don't like Zach having a wrench. Well, that, you know. You know what? Get wrecked. We all knew it was going to happen there. Yeah. We did. And someone sends 13th County to find out the truth. We're just going to, I do think that it, there maybe is just a video here where you just talk about 13th County, ECBP, and there was one more drama. I don't remember what it was. I'm, I mean, I don't... How do you figure that the fuck out? Unless they say anything. Who, 13th? Yeah. Well, we have knowledge and information that wasn't in any article I've read. That's fair. So, I I'll, think that would I'll be worth that. chatting about on, like, a video. But... Advent, Advent and, You read the same thing. 24 of our picks. That'd be fun. To figure out, you'd have to figure out what pick it is each time. That'd be a blast, actually. But we probably have 120 picks by now? No. We have like 70 some. Well, we have way more than that. There's no way we don't. You think we have 120 picks? I, I bet we have over 100. We didn't do it. No. No. We did way less picks. We did like year. 30, year three. 
You're three. Yeah. Of oh, okay. channel. You're one of doing the picks, basically. Yeah. Okay. I think we did like 30, 20 plus, 20 I plus. I don't think that. I do not believe that to be true. Luke, how many picks have we done? It's got to be. He has a spreadsheet. It's got to be like over 80. I think it's high 70s. You're in the 80s or so, Luke. I, I, I feel like it's got to be 80s. Oh, was, you said over 100. I know. That's a lot. Yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll dial that back. I think we've back. only been doing picks for real for two years. Three. Three? Three. Three, like, full years of picks. It's got to be Who 80. Who says not updated? Well, the backbone in the Green River would be three more. Yeah. Backbones. It's got to be 80. I can see 80s. Hundreds would be. That's you know, I lot. said that, and I instantly was like, no, I was That's wrong. I was way wrong on that. It's got to be at least 80. You could do pick brackets by year. The, the uh, dude, doing 24 blinds of our picks would be fun. People wouldn't want to watch that, but it'd be fun. It'd be a blast. Oh, I'd love to know how many picks we've done, though. Ryan would know for sure. Somebody give us a ballpark within 10. That'd be sufficient. 70. It satiates both But of if us. it's 84, then it doesn't. Know. You know what I mean? I think, we've, I think we're in the 80s. We could be, for sure. I 100% believe we're in the 80s right now. Or it's like I said, two. Okay. So, I mean, you know what, dude? When Glenn Smashing wins, it just, like, doesn't even matter. You're moving it again. There it goes. That happened. Davlauer said 75. That, that's great. 76 last time Luke updated into the 80s minimum. What was the last pick update? What bottle was it? So we might be able to just count from there. We Top 10 picks of 2023. Both 13th colonies. Yeah, easy. My backbone. Backbones. Um, both backbones for me, honestly. Um, I'm trying to, now I have to separate the rest that we did this year and not this year. I don't even know where we started this year. We started this year hot on picks. Stag Jr., Russell. Oh, 2023. Fuck. Yeah, not even close. We did Jack Daniels this year. As of yeah. the Penelope Intense Toasted, oh, you're at 62. Oh, dude, I fucking love 62. my Penelope pick, not yours. Shit. 62 plus five. Blue Run, Green River, two backbone. Uh, New Holland Rye. Um, man, I don't know. Favorite pick of this year. Zach said Advent winner gets control of the mouse for a year. I'll take that mouse. Now you're getting it. Is it cumulative? Kingslayer? You got one on me. Oh, I forgot about that. See, the problem is I literally don't remember how many we've done this year. So it's probably at least 20 this year. It's at least 20 this year yeah. for sure. Well, the thing is we also have done some that haven't come in yet. So even if you look at it as 20-something, 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 that we're no, probably in the we low like 70s. 50. Yeah. <laughs> we literally did like 48 or 52 or something like that, the big year. So say 25, 25, 25, Alec, that's I 75. Remember, I remember Alec was like, dude, you can't do too many picks. They won't be special anymore. He said that to me on the phone once. Yeah. So that's so 75 so. if we did 25. There was a while... I don't know how many weeks we did a drop every two weeks. It's always at the end of the year. No, don't count the virtue stuff. No, 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 no. I'm saying stuff that isn't ours, that we yeah. just went on picks. It was a lot. Mm -hmm. Gotta be 80. It ramped up a lot. I have a baller pick for your 100th. I would have to line some up, truly. But we have to know where we're at. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? We need to, like... Because it's going to take a minute to line that up and execute a pick. We still got a couple coming, you know? We've got four coming, I think. Three. RD1. Exceptional series rare character. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking forward to. Um, Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare we picked hasn't come out. That's three. Third pick, first pick ever was Swordfish Oil 1, yeah. Yeah. Nancy doesn't seem to have control over that, Dylan. Um, one time I talked to Nancy about Magnus stuff. One, it was a, it was a while ago. 
B517. I think that was what Jason loved forever and a day ago. I think that's like just one of his never top ones. I loved the bees. Never. It just. Or 518. I, we've, you, Sean and I have never had a bee be our favorite that year, ever. No. Bees um, are normally like a write off for us. It's normally C's. Then we're like, all right, A's are okay. B's are meh. Turmeric, swordfish. Three. Third sagamore pick. We um, got samples for another sagamore pick, but they're, the yield is insane. Yeah, we'll have to split that. The Only one where I pick. told you to call Ryan because Redwood wasn't working. Oh, Redwood didn't work because of COVID. Mm. That fell out because they laid their entire sales team off. But yeah, Alec, the conversation where we you said one, it got sold. Just call Ryan because you need an online retail. We retailer. contacted Redwood again, and they were like, "They don't work here anymore." But yeah, I don't I know what you guys are four doing. People from the purple that army. guy got fucking laid off, and then message Dan was like, "Hey, this is who you need to talk to." Send me a cell phone number. And that was the second guy, yeah. and then the third guy was like, "I don't know who you guys are." I don't know what you guys want. No, never got back to me. And last guy never talked to me. No, the third guy goes, that pick is already gone. That, yes. And then we're like, all he's, right. He said, I'll fix let's it. Let's keep I'll get going. You a new one. And then never, never got to samples, never heard anything back. Yeah. Never talked to me again. Yeah. I talked to, dude, I talked, the Purple Army is what Redwood calls their sales team or their single barrel team. I don't know what the fuck they are, but they call them the Purple Army. First guy from the Purple Army was great. Second guy was okay. Third guy, nah, uh, you know. Good to see you, T Pro. Said, holy crap, it's been a while. Set looks proper. Thanks, Happy buddy. New Year's. Appreciate it, man. The Willet C was better than the Blue Run pick, says Copeland. That was the, the barrel. Oh, man, do I disagree. C bomb. Because we compared them when the Blue Run came in. Yeah. And um, the C bomb is like a cinnamon candy, like I a red hot. a lot. Damn. We should have won the picks. They're at 70 picks for BJ only. That's what Risky, Whiskey Rock said. Oh, it's going to be better. That's my initial guess, 72? If 70 is right, I was close. 80. It's got to be in the 80s. It'd be fun to go up to an uh, Iron Fish. I know. I don't want to go to Iron Fish and, like, I, I don't have – I've never done market research personally on Iron Fish picks. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they go. Yeah, I just haven't had ironfish picks. Just local. Yeah. It's all local shit. I know, but I haven't had it. Like, have you had an ironfish pick before? Mm, no. That's what I mean. We can go there and have a good time, though. <clears throat> yeah, but, for sure. I we can find something special. For sure. I would like to do a National Barrel Co. pick. That'd be fun. Um, I'd like to do maybe a Middle West Luke pick. Luke is naming all the picks right now. I just need a number. Those are all this year, probably. Oh, I forgot about the Copper Sky. I had that the other night. That was so a good. long time ago, it feels yeah. like. It wasn't. It was not that long ago. We were there in the winter. Um, I mean, it was probably this year, but we were there when it was cold. Because we were wearing coats. Yeah. Got to see Bill and Dara there. It might have been early this year. I think it was like beginning of this year. Tell Munich. me, when we go see you? It's probably going to be a while, man. I don't know. It all runs together. Um, there are things in there I just forget. Everything runs together. That's the problem. Yeah. Everything feels like this year or last year or this year or that. You know what I mean? <coughs> I would have bet. I would have lost okay. money today that uh, the Sagamore eight year was this year. Yeah, me too. I thought I didn't think we had one this year. Munich, I don't hate you at all. Um, we went through we this place like five times right today, like walking around yeah. looking for bottles for two different list videos. Yeah. And I looked at those today, and I was like, "Oh, it's good last yeah. year." I like no part of me. I thought it was like December last year that we got that. Like end of the year. Sure. I was like, that's the last year product. Yeah. Oh, it did. Dropped December twenty two. I was like, we went there when it was cold, I thought. 
Oh, that means we went there well before that. Yeah. That well, sat for another couple months. That was a, no, remember, that was the finishing barrel. That sat, yeah. We picked that remote. Yeah. We tasted it while we were there. Yeah. We came back, and then it was more months. And then it was like, I think it's ready. Yes, yeah, so we probably that was like, like that, October. That Copper Sky pick was a long pick. That's when we went there and picked the mythology pick. Yeah. 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 Yep. Good trip. That mythology is still one of the best things we picked. Is it 12 years? 10. 10 years? Mm-hmm. I knew it was double digit. Yep. MGP. That was a good pick. It was. Ben Holiday, maybe. That'd be a fun one to go to. Russell's I want to go do one of their uh, cave the picks. First. Damn, Russell's pick was first of 23. That's. Oh, we picked that so far in 22. Yeah. That one got lost. Yeah. Well, forgot to be bottled. But It's a good year. Shit it was happens. honestly just a good year. Shit happened. All right, let's shut this down. Yep, let's do it. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. So awesome pick, please. Cookies in there doing shit. Or there's a but ghost. we both just looked at that door like, oh, we're going to have to kill people. Yeah. Um, cookies doing cookie things. Thank you guys so much for being here. We're going to... Thanks for hanging out. Get better words on Tetsy J. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, don't get this twisted. Monday, we were playing with Holden and Holden's cousin. I dropped a 17 bomb. CJ's got like fucking six, dude. Like, what are we doing? Six, CJ? Yeah. Like, I, like we're not... We're not saying get better at Warzone right now, CJ. What in the world, dude? Six? Gosh. Do the kids have six? Holden's cousin is. I don't have the mouse. I can't end this. Love you guys. (laughs) I can't cut you off. You got to cut yourself off. I was waiting for CJ to respond. He's not going to get to. Bye.